This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a portfolio to showcase your work, a store to sell your products and services, or a blog to share your ideas, Squarespace gives you everything you need to make your next move into a reality, including a free domain. Not to mention with Squarespace's beautifully designed templates and customizable features, creating a beautiful website is a simple and intuitive process. Simply add and arrange your content with the click of a mouse. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter offer code Bang 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 to get 10% off your first purchase. They don't call me Dr. Leroy Funkmeister the third for nothing, or at all for that matter. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang! Bang Bang in it, bang in! Oh, welcome to the show for another week, and what a week it is. If this is your first episode, you have really uh, settled on a good one. A good one, as they call it. Uh, as Dwight once called it. Um, oh, we got it. That sounds great. That's a solid pickup. Uh, you can head home now. <laughs> Wait, that's it? <laughs> yeah, well, you just said we need to pick up for the last episode. No, no I did. said we need to start this episode. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so okay. sorry. I put this in the bin for the other episode. If you thought we were just going to be here for two minutes, you are going to be disappointed. Uh, are you serious? Because I have a super important meeting after this. <laughs> really? We're stretching on for a couple hours here, I think. Holy shit. Well, okay. You know, I got to earn my credits. All you right, know, yeah. Girl. Old fashioned way. Uh, wait, wait, why are I'll you unzipping your dick? Right <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I always take my dick out to blow somebody. <laughs> All right, you that, want that, it we, we don't. It's not that kind of show. We don't like to start on that kind of uh, that kind of behavior. Speak to you, uh, Scott Ackerman here, your host, and I've been your host for guess how many years, Gino? Um, forty. No, no, I'm not. How old are you, by the way? <laughs> How old do you think I am? Mid to late 60s. You're No, you're like... You're, Seriously, you're not? No, of course not. Whose canes are these? Whose gains are these? Canes, yeah, no. <laughs> Whose you're gains in charge are of, these? You're in charge of the gains and the levels. Oh, the gains, I get it, like the detergent. No, what are you... Okay, look, hold on. Let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Scott Ackerman. I've been your host for eight years. Yes, today... Hi, Scott Ackerman. Thank you. Uh, today is our eighth anniversary show. Eight is great. Holy uh, shit. It's been eight years since we started this show. We're uh, we're in the, the high 400s. Uh, what a long, strange trip it's been. You're almost at your Gladwell 10,000 hours of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Professional bullshit. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I wonder if we are at 10,000 hours yet. I don't know. If, if each one is like at 90 minutes, 480 episodes. Oh, shit. Uh, the math comes out perfectly to <laughs> 700, 700 and... Hours? <laughs> yeah, not too, not too good. Not close, no. <laughs> we have a few more years to go before I'm good at this. Hey, but that doesn't include behind the paywall stuff. That's true. Uh, and you've been behind the paywall, so... Oh, you're telling me. I've been behind the paywall, the stone wall, the bathroom stall wall. <laughs> The glory hole wall. <laughs> I've been behind it all. Uh, I'm Scott Ackerman. I'm your host. I've been your host for eight years uh, off and on. And uh, the person that I'm speaking with right now is uh, Gino Lombardo, our trusty intern who's been around uh, more and more lately. You yeah. were very sporadic for us. I was very sporadic for a while, but then you had like a dearth of intern situations. The Wampler chick. That's true. Yeah. yeah she's gone. Who knows where she's been, by the way? I don't know. She's probably at home playing house or some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Um, that's with her best do. friends forever. <laughs> that's what her, that's what these chicks do. Uh, yeah, Gino is my intern, uh, he, and you're from uh, Long Island, New York. That is correct. Holy shit! I, Scott I think Ackerman. it's sinking in finally. Uh, okay, can all right. So let's just grab that clip and we can export that separately as it's every own single time. Yeah, every single time you're on, I'm just gonna play that clip <laughs> so I can you. remember. Please, it would be so much easier if I could just drop that in because I, I edit all these. Yeah, I, that's why there's no, no editing. Th there <laughs> Yeah, you edit them, and that's why there's no editing. That's yep, the thing. Just, if anyone ever listens to the show and goes, it could use some editing, <laughs> it's supposed to be. Yeah, but I just want to get it up there because, ooh, baby, I like it. <laughs> you know? All but right. I'm only referring to my uh, audio content. Yes, right exactly. <laughs> you always wear a condom. Oh, yeah. Even when I'm blowing someone, <laughs> yeah. I put a condom on. <laughs> um, it's not that kind of show, by the way, if this is your first one. It's not going to be that kind of show. Not at all. Comedy Bang Bang, as I've, I've said it once before, and I'll say 
it a million times more. This is the show where we talk to interesting people. You've said this once before? That's it? <laughs> Only one time? If I have said it once, I'll say it many more times. Okay. And I have said it once. So you will say it many more yes, times? Yes, I will. Yeah. Okay. So if you're listening to this show uh, for the first time, because it's our anniversary show, uh, this is the show where I have guests on, um, and we talk about their lives, and we talk about them being interesting. I don't know. There's not much more to it than that. Everyone thinks this show is so uh, Byzantine and, and uh, hard to get into, like a mid-90s X-Men comic or something. But no, I mean, you know, there's not... Yeah, well, this is not the Phoenix saga. This is Comedy no, Bang Bang. be mid-80s, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, what, what reference were you making? Mid-70s? Mid-90s. No, mid-90s. Forgive me. I was off by a decade, brother. <laughs> Gino, now you're from Long Island. That's and uh, you fly That's in. Okay. Yeah. Or do you fly in or do I, you I, I've take been, the train ever? I've been taking the Long Island Railroad. <laughs> I got to take it into the city. So for me, that is, of course, from Babylon, yeah, Lindenhurst, backwards. Amityville, Massapequa Park, Massapequa, Seaford, Wantaw, Belmore, Merrick, Freeport, Baldwin, Rockville, Senna, Kew Gardens, Penn Station, Jamaica, all that. You know how it yeah, is. Yeah. So Holy shit, it's really weird to do backwards. Yeah. It's like singing uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. This is, this is your drunk test, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> and and I fa- Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, I Holy think so. Shit. Then let me drive, officer. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're not. Not really, actually. I'm not an officer, and you're not. I, yeah, I thought you were over. pulling a citizen's arrest. No, no, not at all. You Would sure? that be? Has anyone ever pulled a citizen's arrest on you? Like when you've just been intoxicated? Oh in yeah, public? at Bagel Town, I was trying to. I, was, I ordered eight iced coffees, uh, super light, super sweet, and I was trying to carry them out, and I spilled them on some lady who had her church clothes on. Uh, what's it called when you like go to church on a Saturday and you don't do Christmas? Uh, they're uh, 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 Jewish. Uh, yes, yes, yes. She was one of those ladies, and I spilled a bunch of iced coffee on her, and mm-hmm. she had her husband uh, issue a citizen's arrest on me, uh-huh. and then she did a citizen's pepper spray of me. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that was possible. But, yeah, if, but if you, stand your ground. Yeah, if you scream, if you scream, I'm a citizen and I am pepper spraying you. You're, it's like carte it's blanche. Legal. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What does carte blanche mean to you? By the carte way, carte blanche means white card, and it's like it's the it's a race card that works. <laughs> All when right. you play the white card, you get the job. <laughs> All right. Again, not that kind of a show. Although, oh, yeah. some stinging social commentary from Gino. Yeah, you can expect nothing less from everyone's <laughs> favorite uh, 25-year-old bisexual comedy bang-bang intern. That's right. Now, t- uh, what's been going on with you, Gino? Because uh, I've, I saw you last week, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Last Did week. you stay in town? I've been. I actually stayed in town. Yeah, because week. you were on the show last Monday. And yeah, and it's just easier for me to stay here this time rather than try to shoot back and shoot back in. So this know? is like Gino's LA adventure. What have you oh. been doing? Oh me. I've been doing yeah, you. I've been doing all like the uh, fucking like you know indie cool like hip uh, underground stuff. Like I yeah. took a picture of a bunch of different stars on the Walk of Fame. I got a distance uh, picture from my flip phone of the Hollywood sign. <laughs> I uh, I rode the uh, the Rasta bus, the TMZ bus, and the Star Tours bus. <laughs> I rode the regular bus. Um, mm-hmm. Jerome Bettis, the former Pittsburgh Steelers running sure. back, aka the bus, uh, he gave me a piggyback ride down the Venice Boardwalk. <laughs> oh, Did nice a lot of, of bus-related stuff, which mm-hmm. has been fun. Because oh, you know, if you ever come to Los Angeles, hop on that TMZ bus. Boy, you there's gotta get nothing on that. better on a hot day than being <laughs> let's in a bus with no top. Yeah, let's get the top the off this bus. Beating down on you, and let's look at the outside of people's houses because that's not something you can get a picture of. <laughs> Let's come on. Can we drive by quickly and I can get a fucking blurry Samsung shot of some celebrity who this is like legitimately stalking? You sound like you're uh, kind of coming down on it, but this is what you did this week. Yeah, no, it's what I did. And But I, it's going to make it sound like I think it's absolute waste of bullshit time to have a picture of Ron Howard's house on your fucking cell phone as you drive by. How how? That's what I call it. Yeah. Ro how how. <laughs> Row how how. Row how how. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you just doing your Tim Allen impression? <laughs> Officer, what do you mean? Don't check that trunk, please. <laughs> do you think drugs were the only thing in there? <laughs> uh, what's what's in there, sir? Uh, 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 some tools, uh, some time, uh, uh, Pam Anderson's head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Richard, you think Kurt, he Richard Curtis Pam legs. Anderson in the mid '90s during Home Improvement? I thought that's what was going because I, I, you know, I ran into Jonathan Taylor Thomas this weekend. Oh, you did, JTT, JT, yeah, yeah. <laughs> JT squared, if you mm-hmm. will. Sure, I'm the original and JT. Fuck Justin Timberlake. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. I love Justin Timberlake. Yeah, of course. He's got the same. He's got January 31st, 1983. Why do I know his birthday? I have no idea. <laughs> How weird. 
that you do. <laughs> well, I got my tattoo at a fucking uh, Tiger Beat. Uh, what was it called? Christmas party. Oh, okay. A Tiger Beat Christmas, <laughs> meaning the magazine Tiger Beat had a Christmas party? Yeah, when I was like and five. you got a tattoo? <laughs> yeah, I got a tattoo of Justin Timberlake's birthday. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a stupid thing in hindsight. You know, hindsight's being 2020. Sure, when you I say hindsight, it, do you mean the next morning? I mean the next morning. I also mean because I got it on my rear end. Oh, so I see. Once you have a mirror and you can have actual hindsight. Right, uh, I see. Did yeah. you get it backwards so you can look at it in a mirror? Uh, yeah, I got it upside down and backwards so I could flip over on my head and then <laughs> spread my legs and see it that way. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you do that. Uh, so what, uh, what else did you do while you were in Los Angeles? I mean, oh, uh, I, I mean, I did it all. I ate at every single restaurant. I had, uh, I had. Yeah, uh, you're still not packing on the pounds. No, by I'm the way. trying. I'm trying to get it in. I went down to um, I, what's it called? The uh, it's like. They're not McDonald's, but they're the king of burgers. The Burger King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, sure. I went to that place. That was fucking. By the fun. way, what a name, Burger King. It's like, and, and what an insult to McDonald's. Yeah, hey, McDonald's, go fuck yourself. We're the king of burgers. <laughs> McDonald's, like, but we're an Irish or a farmer Scottish. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's an old guy with a farm or a fucking clown. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get your fucking clown. Hey, go and get your shine box, Ronald. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't get that. Uh, that's from uh, a film. Mm, great. Yes. I love films. Moana. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's a scene in Moana where Maui goes, hey, go and get your fucking shine bucks. <laughs> really? That, it's only on the Blu-ray. Oh, okay. I it's a get deleted that. scene where Moana fucking- I've always wanted to hear The Rock say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is The Rock playing Maui? You, did you not know that? The Rock plays Maui in Moana. I was just going to hang around for 20 years till they remade it with live action, and we mm-hmm. could try to see this like little Pacific Islander girl nearly drown. It's a prequel to Ballers. I don't know if you knew that. I, You know, I didn't know that until the uh, after credit sequence of Moana. <laughs> right. <laughs> when he's sitting when at a bar said, and Rob Corddry <laughs> sits down <laughs> next to him. And recruits him <laughs> for the Ballers initiative. I don't know why, I don't know why <laughs> Rob Corddry has an eye patch on in that scene. I, there was like cultural- But he's bald. <laughs> but he is bald. Uh, yeah, no, uh, the character in Ballers is an immortal god. Mm. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Yeah, now, that, ev- now everything makes that's sense. That's who you want repping you if you're an athlete. You want mm-hmm. an immortal god signing your contract. <laughs> of course. Because he's going to be around till the end. Well, yeah, but he has no concept of time or what that means to you. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, I didn't even think of that. He signed you a, a millennial of seasons. Wait, <laughs> right. no. Can you say millennial? Millennia. I mean, millennia. Probably. Because millennials are these fucking little young- uh, You're a millennial, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, Or yeah. wait, are you too young? You're 25. What does I, that mean? What generation are you in? That puts me in uh, millennial minus, right? Right, My yeah. under millennial. I'm millennial plus. So I'm- <laughs> So am I technically nubile? <laughs> I think you are. Oh, you think I am, huh? <laughs> All, right. All right. Wait, so you knew what it meant? <laughs> I think you... I do, but I right. walked you right into this, Scotty Ox. All right, Gino. Well, it's baby. great. It's baby. It's always great to see you. It's I'm not going to talk after you. this. I know you said you have, we have a lot of people coming through. So I'm Gino just... doesn't talk when he's on the show. He's only here to uh, yeah, I'm pu- just... push the, the volume level slightly up or slightly down. Yeah, and apparently people keep saying that we could do it in post, but you know I like to be here live just to make sure just it to all make gets sure, there, Yeah, right. I could send you the file to... Uh, <laughs> Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> you can send it P.O. Box Long Island. Yeah. Oh, is that where you're at? P.O.L.I. is all you have to write on an envelope. And, and it'll it get to right me. to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it gets to this big-ass pile that in Eisenhower Park uh, in uh, <laughs> Hempstead, Long Island. And then everyone goes there and just, like, rifles through and finds their mail and packages and whatnot. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's just easier than, you know, I'm constantly, like, I'm bouncing around. Sometimes I stay with my mom. Sometimes I stay with my dad. Sometimes sure. I stay with my stepdad. Who you have a troubled history with your family. Oh, yeah. I mean, who doesn't, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm just thinking about it, man. Family's fucking hard, dude. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. A lot of people don't say that. You know, Dominic Toretto says that family is what it's all about. But uh, if, Yeah, but I, you know, most people would disagree with him. I don't yeah. know why those films are resonating with people. Because I know. it's like, <laughs> I would rather not be hanging out with my family. <laughs> I, and he's a guy who that's all he wants to do. I don't want to hang out with my own family, no less this guy's loose collection of family. <laughs> right. Like, I don't get why, why everyone's so fucking pro-family. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. By the way, I just realized is that movie is F8. Oh, yeah, Fate, Fate of the Furious. Yeah. Oh, it just fuck- sunk into me. I wish they would have just straight up called it F8 of the Furious. Yeah, or that just F you. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> hey, fuck, we- <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> just call it Give Us 1675. Please. That movie seemed to me like Fate of the Furious. No one wants to be in scenes with Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you how do you think Charlize felt having to fucking make out with her? <laughs> she was like, "Oh, I'd love to be in the biggest." Uh, she movie. deserves the Oscar for that, not Monster. <laughs> oh, I think uh, uh, Vin deserves the Oscar for those two giant man tears that he developed. <laughs> That's how you know you're a real baller when you cry just 
pearl pellets of tears. Yeah. That's it. One each. Mm-hmm. One, one, one apiece. That's all he'll allow his tear ducts to <laughs> one expel. One uric acid crystal just <laughs> pops out of the corner of his eye and tumbles down his face. Is this an episode of How Did This Get Made? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> Finger blast. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> uh, all right. We need, to, <laughs> we need to get to our next guest. Uh, it's great to see our first guest, actually, because uh, I'm not you're an Airsats co-host. Uh, it's been uh, a bit of time since he's been on this uh, show. Uh, he, I, I believe it's been almost a year since we've seen him, maybe since the uh, tour last year. Uh, he is, of course, I, I think he's from somewhere around your neck of the woods, uh, somewhere in New York, New Jersey. Uh, I beg your pardon? <laughs> Where are you from? I forget. I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. The same same kind of thing. Hey, it's hey, not hey, the hey, same hey. kind of thing. It's, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Same shit, different toilet. Whatever mm-hmm. you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he is a uh, television personality and That's a, right. And a chef. I'm a baker. A baker. Is, is there a difference between chef and baker? Yeah, a baker bakes things and a chef cooks food. And what Why does a candlestick maker do? He makes candles. Hey. What about a tinker? <laughs> He think it's around. Think a Taylor soldier spy. <laughs> Uh, he uh, is a longtime friend of the show. He's been on for why, probably... Why are you giving me such a tortured introduction? Uh, because I, I need to paint a picture of who you are. I think they you Why? You've been, you've who been, cares? You've been on the show for all of the eight years that we've been doing it. That's right. It's got oxygen. And I feel uh, that deserves no less than a grand sweeping introduction. Oh, well, thank you very much. I retract my argument. Mm-hmm. His name is Buddy Valesse... Valesse something... Oh, my God. <laughs> No Buddy, wonder why he was stretching the intro. <laughs> he doesn't Trying not, to remember the name. He doesn't know how to pronounce my name. Vlad, 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 Vlastro, Buddy Vlad. Come on, come on, Buddy Vlastro, Buddy Vlastro, the Cake Boss. Cake boss that's right. Welcome to the show, Cake Boss. Thank you, Scott, Cake Boss. Thank you, Scott Oxman. So nice to see you again. Is it? Uh, it is. I mean, we have a bit of an antagonistic relationship. We got a contentious relationship. It's true. Quite a few people pass through this show with that kind of relationship. Uh, a lot of people Blame like it. to needle me and, uh... Do you think you bring that out in people? I um, could be. I I feel like I'm just a wide-eyed innocent. In ha- oh, you, you, uh, you, you never had occasion to look inward and think, why is it that so many people treat me this way? <laughs> I don't think it's my fault. <laughs> What's I think com- it's the psychology of a certain type of person. <laughs> okay, so you look around and you're like, oh, there's a lot of assholes in the world. <laughs> How come I'm the How one nice guy? so many different assholes when it should just be one asshole? Yeah, what's the common denominator here? <laughs> the world? It's full of jerks. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Buddy, welcome to the show. Thank you, Scott Oxman. I'm here because it's, it's your anniversary show. Thank you. I want to say happy anniversary to you. Thank you very much. You, uh, did you bring a cake? <sighs> you know, it's a sad story, really. Oh. Because. We don't need to go into it then. I mean. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> let's take a break. You know we, should I tell a sad story? Should I? Are we here? I'll hear a sad story. Thank you, Gino. I've been so high up lately. I want to get brought. Have down. we met before? I'm pretty sure we <laughs> I have. I can't remember. You know, we we uh, so many people certain, pass through these halls. <laughs> after it's a true contentious of, relationships. I feel like we may have met uh, overseas. Ah, perhaps, perhaps in uh, uh, Great Britain, in one of the, in, or the shitty Britain, in one Brexit. The, yeah, <laughs> we met in Brexit. We met in Brexit. You know, I have zero memory of being there. <laughs> Same here. It's almost <laughs> as if it was too short, <laughs> <laughs> or we were all too drunk. <laughs> Uh, so, what's the sad story? I would love to hear this story myself. <sighs> Obviously, for such an occasion. Of course, I'm going to bake a cake. It's what I do. Even though I did not have a lot of time. How much time did you have to do this? Like since the seventh anniversary? (laughs) Here's the thing. I'm very busy at Carlos Bakery. Right. We're making cakes all the time. They're very elaborate cakes. They require a lot of time. And all these people, they don't respect my time. They're like, Cake Boss, I need this cake. Why did you do that? (laughs) What? Why did I do what? I said Cake Boss, and then you repeated it. Why did you do that? I have no memory of that. Well, it happened, and I'm telling you, strange thing I'll, that you just uh, did. Gino, rewind the tape, and uh, let me see if that actually happened. Um, the tape is fried. <laughs> well, no, the tape is fried. Wait, 
I, when I say rewind the tape, that's I, we're recording this digitally. Oh, okay. I, don't I'm, know if I you thought you were talking about I'm wrapping duct tape around the leg of this table currently. Oh, I, misunder- okay. I misunderstood what you said. Oh, okay. I, I don't thought know you were, why you're frying it. <laughs> the, the legs of this table, they're too provocative. <laughs> yes. Gino's a bit of a Victorian. I'm going to tape it all the way down in the ankle. So that only is, a slight peak of wood comes out. Isn't that you know the most I mean. insane part of our history? The fact that they needed to cover table legs. Otherwise, people would have boners. Have you seen some of those table legs from old times? That's true. They're pretty sexy. You ever get that? corner of the table that's just at the perfect height and you could just press your Jennies into it? No? <laughs> Here's Jennies. Here's Jennies. And then you slap your little nuts on there. And then and it bursts through the table like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> that sounds uncomfortable, actually. And, and as I was saying it, on I was like, of the table. <laughs> I don't actually enjoy this. People are into a lot of different things. That's true. That's true. Anyway. Hey, anyway. So, of course, I'm going to so, okay. uh, recap. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. People mm-hmm. ask me for these elaborate cakes. Uh, I'm always up against the clock. Uh, but I thought, Scott Oxman, he's nice enough to have me on his uh, whatever this is <laughs> so many times. Uh, why, why don't I make him an elaborate cake? Uh, it was going to be a cake of Scott Oxman speaking into microphone. Uh, uh, and it was going to be two scale. It was going to be life size. <laughs> was two separate cakes, one for the microphone and one for me? Or were we? Did connect- you think I was making a cake for a microphone? Well, a, a separ- well you said it's me speaking into a microphone yeah. and it's to scale. I am separate from the microphone, so I would imagine it would be in two life. Cakes. Yes, you are. Yes, but would it be connected in your cake by the ground, perhaps? Or yeah, does this cake go all the way to the ground? <laughs> That's an important question to ask of any cake. When I see a cake, I'm like, how big is this thing? Is this, this thing is all the way to the, the ground? ground? I can't see underneath the table because they got these goddamn table legs are covered. The there cake? could be a hole in the table, and the cake could go all the there way to the go- ground. There was going to be a beige cake, and okay. then on top of that cake. You've seen cakes before, right? I have. I have. Okay. Was so it like know, a wedding cake with... with sure. If, if that helps you understand, then yeah. Let me think. Here comes the bride. Okay, yes. <laughs> You had to put yourself <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a wedding situation <laughs> yes, in your mind. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Here's what happened. <laughs> I was just about finishing the cake. Finishing the cake. <laughs> I'm listening to Sean Time as I always do. Of course. When, I, <laughs> when I'm baking cakes. <sighs> then I saw my reference photos of you. Mm. <laughs> There's a newer one where you're wearing glasses. Mm. And I thought, oh, Garage of Babel, I got the glasses. Where's my fondant? I would hope that you would keep your fondant at the ready. I you Scott Oxman, I usually do. I, I would think that you would have like, you know, in Taxi Driver, when uh, uh, Robert De Niro has those guns going, yeah, I would yeah. think that you would have two fondant squeezers coming out of your wrists at Top all times. <laughs> And tropical. What if it was set, you know, in the Bahamas? Ooh, if, I like that. If taxi, taxi driver? <laughs> taxi driver. <laughs> and a Jamaican taxi driver in <laughs> <Yeah>. the Bahamas? <laughs> Scott, Scott Oxman, he, he, hear me now. Yes. <laughs> I, I, please respect my neck. Okay, I will. I, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit this. I hadn't paid my fondant bill. <gasps> Wait a minute. I would think that you you would be on an auto uh, renewal of your Yeah, fondant. you would think that. But some of the guys in the cake crew, they let me down. Cake crew. They let you down. Why did da- you do that? Do what? Skip it. These guys are supposed to have my back. They're supposed to be taking care of this stuff so I can make the cakes. They should be paying these bills on time. They should be paying these bills on time. Always on time. What's Always your, on what's time. What's your uh, monthly fondant nut? It's $10,000. <laughs> Whoa. I use a lot of fondant. Yeah, well, hey, you know. But look, I, it's not so bad when you consider how much I charge for the cakes. That's yeah. just, it's frankly, it's a it's, criminal. It's, it is. It's cake. I mean, yeah, it's you know, a, a, one of your many criminal <laughs> things that you've done. What is that supposed to be? Did you have some troubles with the law a few years back? That was, I was framed. You were framed by whom? The pie minister oh, framed right. me. We haven't heard from him in a long <laughs> really? time. Really? He didn't catch on? <laughs> I liked him. <laughs> Tears for Fears especially liked him. <laughs> they really did. When I saw them again, uh, they were imitating him. <laughs> I saw them perhaps uh, a month, two months later, and they came up and said, uh, the pie minister. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So English people like to hear their own voices. That's true. <laughs> Repeat it back to them. 
So I got to go down to Shitty Hall mm. in Hoboken. And I got to plead, beg and plead, please, please, turn my Fondant faucet back on. <laughs> so it's a lot like the hot water faucets or the gas line? Yeah. Hmm. And where's it? Where where's it coming from? It's coming from Hoboken City Hall. <laughs> okay, so they're stirring up batches of fondant and every it, day. <laughs> and is it like uh, sodas where you like say like I need blue fondant and you hit a blue button and it comes out of the faucet? Maybe, yeah, yeah, that's right. You can yeah. do a suicide every once in a while. <laughs> oh, don't think I don't. <laughs> Sometimes here's the thing: the fondant, you know, it hardens. You got to get it right away. You know, when you sculpt with it, but also to drink it, you got to drink it so fast because otherwise it's going to harden in your throat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Close that and thing then off. it's like it's, it's like, like pouring cement. cement. <laughs> like cement. Hey, That's we found right. common ground. See, we're not so different. Hey, the ground is made of cement. Hmm. <laughs> and fondant. <laughs> There's a lot of you know the sidewalk in front of Carlos Bakery is made of fondant. A lot of people don't realize that. I had no idea. That's yeah. insane. You, you put you your little handprints. You right? can you put your handprints in there. You, if you want, you could just take a bite out of the sidewalk. <laughs> don't do it though. But you said if we want to, we could. I shouldn't have said that. I, I take like, it back. Is the is the curb also fondant? Da, 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 yeah. Da, da, if you da, try da, to, people da, scream, da, bite da, the curb when I walk by around New Jersey. <laughs> if you curb stop somebody in front of Carlos Baker, you're helping them more than hurting them. <laughs> it's one of the few instances where putting your foot on the back of someone's neck is helpful. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she gets it. He gets it. So, so anyway. Yeah. So no I glasses. Got, I was so bad that I couldn't make the fondant glasses. I must admit, I pulled a Kylo Ren and I smashed it. I smashed oh, that no. cake up. Cake boss smash? Cake boss. I, I went crazy. You went And I feral. smashed it. I, I did. You went into a berserker Ooh, rage. Are we allowed to say that word here? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I went Dutch. And I, uh, I mean, I smashed that cake with my bare hands. <gasps> and I felt weird about it because, you know, it was an image of you. <laughs> And it was like I was tearing you to pieces. Right. And I was screaming, die, Scott Ackerman, die. <laughs> well, now, see. I wouldn't be to. I thought you were just frustrated by the fondant, but you actually wanted me to die. I didn't want you to die. I guess the thing is, uh, the cakes, uh, cakes, you know, <laughs> they're like, when I create them, uh, I have a personal relationship to them. Uh, I'm like Geppetto, you know what I mean? Sure, and you wanted me to die. You want your cakes to turn into boys? Uh, uh, not, Little boys? Uh, well, imagine if Geppetto made more than one thing. <laughs> what if, why isn't Geppetto making like an adult? You know what I mean? It's like, come on. How terrifying would it be? A dad. <laughs> How terrifying would an adult uh, marionette be? Like a fucking do six they, foot marionette? Do they ever go into Geppetto's troubles uh, conceiving? You know? Like, in, the, <laughs> in the pre boot that they're eventually. You know, Geppetto was your man. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you know, he's wasn't, not married. He's alone. He's a lonely old man. You don't have to be married to have a kid. It's true, but it I, helps. Did they I, ever go into like? Did he try to date? Did he actually like shoot stuff up in anyone? I and, think that uh, it's safe to assume the backstory of Geppetto is he went on a series of dates that didn't pan out. <laughs> you haven't. He seen never the, found the right woman. <laughs> Geppetto Rising. You never saw it. <laughs> he goes to Vietnam and he's a sniper, and the Agent Orange uh, nulls his like whole genital. <laughs> oh, situation. see that. See that makes and, more sense. And he's back, and he's being wheeled down the Fifth Avenue. What doesn't make? <laughs> and he's like another <laughs> another version of this story is he uh, put his junk up against the corner of a table and rendered himself <laughs> sterile. <laughs> you can do that if you just jam it hard enough into a corner. Oh. I had a I had a friend who put his uh, dick in between two textbooks and hammered it so hard that he can't have kids now. Oh, good. Why yeah. did your friend do that? Because he was saying you can't feel it if you put it uh, two books on. Oh, it kind of spreads the pressure out, and then it, he was wrong. <laughs> he was insanely wrong. <laughs> hey, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Yep, that's true. True. That, that's Did you get a picture of his penis <laughs> backwards and upside down on your butt? I have, yeah, and it looks like almost nothing. I tell people now it's a lacrosse stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an eyes on insignia. <laughs> it's just a little crocodile. All right. Well, I, I'm sorry that you didn't bring a cake. And I but. feel I feel guilty. Cake. I feel guilty because <laughs> you know I got I'm showing up empty handed. There's there's nothing I could give you. I wanted to give you something special. That's okay. But you, there's you, nothing you, I could give you. you uh, I'm disappointed, but your presence. I mean, it would be nice for me to say your presence is enough. Yeah. Wh what about just for the sake of this one time, you you bring the cake in sans glasses. 
Well, he destroyed. I destroyed. No, no, I know, I know. But how come you didn't say like, okay, maybe I'll just drop it off without glasses? But the glasses, it wasn't finished. It needed the glasses. By the way, I'm not wearing glasses right now, so you could have brought it in. I I don't constantly wear the the glasses, much like clothes. Misha the Bell, why didn't I ask you if you were going to wear the glasses? How many hours a day are you clothesless? How how many hours? Probably a good eighteen. I wish I there was say. a simpler way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I dress for this show, and that's about it. That's it. Yep. And that's six hours a day, leaving <laughs> yep. you eighteen hours a day to be home nude. Well, I wish, were, uh, K-Boss, I wish there were Kate Boss. I wish there was something K-Boss. you could uh, give me, but uh, I guess there's not. Um, I do too. I mean, look, uh, all I can offer is uh, my cakes, and of course, uh, you know, I guess I got the gift of the second sight. I'm oh connected yeah, to the spirit world. We, I forgot that. about that. Yeah, I mean, but, you, uh, you're you're able to speak with uh, the deceased. Yeah. Uh, in both uh, yeah. fiction and real life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got. Well, I mean, I guess they're. Were we supposed to bring gifts? I mean, I, I'm a polite person, so uh, for a special occasion, I bring a gift. Did you bring any gifts? I have uh, no gifts. I have some. Uh, I have about six feet of the champ uh, Italian hero from my hero on Jerusalem Avenue in my car. Uh, I drove out with it. Um, it's wait more than a week ago. Leave that in there. <laughs> no, please. no, no. I'm telling you, that dried meat stays. You know, the gobble gold and the sabazoon stays mm-hmm. dry. Gobble gold and sabazoon. <laughs> <laughs> the you, super sat, the gabagool, the mortadel, the, okay. the mozzarella, the provolone. Hey. hey, you know, Kate Ross, oh, Kate peppers, Ross. hot, cold. I did. Spicy, I did have sweet. one. <laughs> I asked for hot peppers and cold peppers. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. Are you trying to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm almost done describing this sandwich thing that everyone's into. Anyway, as I was saying ten minutes ago, I don't have anything else to offer. I do have uh, supernatural powers. <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe we could speak with someone. Look, 2016 was a very difficult year for uh, the the human race. Sure. A lot of great people passed away. Sure, Hillary Clinton almost became president. <laughs> okay. That was a close call. Okay. God, help, God help us all. <laughs> all you those snowflakes were triggered. <laughs> You get your uh, period when you have access to nukes, it's too high risk. <laughs> well, you are By the way, we're 70. assuming this is going to come out and that we're not already dead from a nuclear explosion. Oh, good point. Fingers crossed. Uh, but those, uh, those North Koreans, they're bad. Okay, they're bad. Okay. Tell you what, let's step aside from the politics. <laughs> okay, I'm dry. it's the world. <laughs> okay, so Scott's saying they're good. <laughs> Got it. But they, you know, last year was was terrible, uh, not only for all of America with uh, so many people passing on, but uh, for this show in particular. Some of our, our dear old friends uh, passed away and are no longer on the show anymore. Maybe we could speak to one of them. What? Like who? Well, I mean, there was someone who passed away uh, who's been on the show almost as long as you, I would say. Uh, and uh, he was a dear, dear friend to us and uh, showed up in Toronto. And uh, <laughs> you were there in Toronto. Uh, I was there at well. Toronto. I made the Rob there, Ford cake. Yeah, you were there a day apart, I believe. And he's, he was an old, old friend, and, and we never got closure on him. But our good friend Gary Marshall. Hmm. You want to talk to Gary Marshall? Sure. Director of Pretty Woman. No, I know who he is. Oh, you, okay. Yeah. Creator of Happy Days. Sure. All right. Well, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me go into my trench and then see if I can A cake it. trance. I-, I go into my cake trench. Sure. Oh, I thought you said trench. <laughs> no, trench. I'm sorry? A trench. I go into a trench. <laughs> okay, right. I got Do it. Do you need now anything from us to get into this cake trance? Oh, my uh, trench music? <laughs> <laughs> so if trans, you play some just trance music? Yeah, if you would play, I, I mean, we never did it before, but I don't, I don't just think play I have anything on my music. iPod. I'm sorry. Uh, what about Trap House? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. We did the old trench. <laughs> I am peering across the mystic veil that separates this world from the next. Oh, spirits, attend me. <laughs> Can you command spirits? Hear to- me. I can't command, but please don't try not to talk to me when I'm in the train. Sorry. She makes it very difficult. <laughs> Why did you get Canadian suddenly? <laughs> I'm looking for a man named Gary Marshall. Please call me Gary. Gary, you're back. Scott, it's me. Gary Marshall. That's right. How you doing, son? Uh, it's so great to see you. This is Gino. You, uh, hey, Gary. Hey, how are you? Gino. Wow. Where, Where are you from? I'm from Long Island. Oh, 
Oh, all right. What am I seeing here? Uh, what is do you it, mean? Uh, this is I'm looking. Well, you're, at, you're looking at Cake Boss. Yes, but Gary I'm Marshall's Gary voice Marshall's is coming out of it. Oh, oh, he's hey. still in there. <laughs> he's still in there somewhere, struggling to get free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, why have you disturbed my uh, eternal rest? Uh, Gary, it's so, uh, I just, you know, I, we never got to speak after your untimely death. and Oh, uh, probably because I was dead. <laughs> well, the true. Is that, do you think that's the reason? <laughs> it could be. But <laughs> Is this the thing you say to a lot of people who've died? <laughs> hey, I didn't get a chance to talk to you after you died. I Look, I don't get a chance to talk to a lot of people who've died. Maybe Chewbacca. But, uh... <laughs> Look, I uh, uh, we miss you down here on Earth. Oh, uh, uh, that's very nice of you to say. I uh, I guess I missed you too. Although, of course, looking down from heaven, I could see everybody and what they're doing all the time. Oh, right. so you've been watching us the entire time? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Among other people, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I've even seen, in my <laughs> you're very naughty, this guy. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm alone here in L.A. for a week. I'm cutting loose. I apologize for anything you may have seen, Mr. Marshall. <laughs> So, oh, heads up, just please, so you know. Hey, please call me Gary. Gary, right. You have Gary privileges. Oh, I like it. Gary privileges. Hey, just so you know, uh, Joni died, but unfortunately, Chachi's still alive. Yeah, I know, I know. It's too bad. Sorry about that, everybody. You still yeah, got to live God with Scott kinda, Baio. God had kind of swapped it. I know. He's going in a, uh, not a great order for the, <laughs> yeah, uh, the Happy Days crew. <laughs> Look, uh, Gilly, by the way, I'm sure misses you. I don't uh, know if you've been checking in on she her. She misses my money, I'm sure. Yeah, well, she never got to lock that down because you had transported to another dimension. That's right. And never returned by the time. Oh, this is like mid-80s X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-70s? Mid-90s. The hmm. Starling stuff? <laughs> uh, what's heaven like? Can you tell us? Yeah, it's like uh, exactly what you think it is. It's a bunch of clouds. A uh, big uh, golden gate. Hmm. Uh, everybody's got a robe and a the halo. Golden gate bridge meeting? Is that because that's the biggest suicide uh, point in uh, America? That's what they tell me. <laughs> they say, look, a lot of people, they're going to be coming here because of suicides. It's not From- a sin, by the way. Now they tell me. No. <laughs> Wait, you would have committed suicide? There were some dark times, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know. I remember one time I was hunting the chupacabra. <laughs> yes, and right. I thought I'll never find him. He doesn't exist. Maybe I should just end my life. <laughs> What am I doing? And then did you catch a glimpse of him? Yeah, I saw him. Okay. <laughs> so when people uh, jump off the Golden Gate Bridge, they want something that's reassuring. They jump right into heaven. <laughs> right, they, and they want to see something. It's to smooth the transition. Right, some yeah. people go straight down into the water and die, and then some people jump off the bridge and get fucking Star trek up into They heaven. get Star trek up <laughs> into heaven. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, are, you're not in murderer's heaven, are you? No, no, no. I'm just in the regular heaven. Regular heaven. The right, regular right. heaven. It's mm-hmm. great. It's great. You hang around all day. You watch people on Earth. Uh, you know, you see, uh, you watch them when they're sleeping. You see when they're awake. You know if they've been bad or good. Wait, is Santa an angel? What's that? Is Santa Claus? Is he up there? No, Santa's not because he's a living person. He's oh. in the North Pole. He's in the North Pole. Okay, so you don't know about Santa? No, I know too much about Santa. He's you could just try to beat me up on you, several occasions. Uh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, right. right he's right, not right, a fan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> is because your last name is kind of Jewy? <laughs> no, it's because. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. I mean, admit, that's a kind of Jewy list. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, it's uh, funny to have the tables turned, because you're all the time, you're like, hey, Gary Marshall, are you Jewish? You're Jewish, uh, right? Well, Because <laughs> I sound like this. I mean, every, to him, everything New York is Jew. Oh, yeah, you're telling me. This is <laughs> West Coast. <laughs> all right, all right. He's all like, right. hey, show me your horns. He's from Orange <laughs> County. We know where they, but you know, we okay. know what color they bleed. Come on, guys. Right. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Do you miss Hector? Oh, I, I think about Hector every day, and I try to respect his privacy. You're you know. so used to having him around. I know Hector Elizondo. He's my good luck charm uh, up until a certain point, obviously. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Did Did you ever think while you were here on Earth, maybe I should lose Hector from these projects? Maybe he's the albatross weighing these things down. Oh, because none of my movies were successful, right? Well, at a, after a They're only point. gigantic hits worldwide. Well, I don't know about Every you know, holiday, Mother's you can Day, count New on a Year's good Day. one. 
Oh, sorry, I, I don't have a perfect track record. Uh, sorry. If only you would have lived eight more years, we could have had Halloween, Arbor Day, Earth Day. We talked about your version of Halloween. I think we, yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. Does Hector Elizondo make an appearance? <laughs> you bet your ass he does. Underneath that mask. That's right. <laughs> At the very end. What a way less scary Mike Myers. <laughs> Michael Myers. Mike Myers is a funny bad Why guy. Why not uh, have a, a Michael Myers who's like a nice guy? He's like kind of paternal. And Backwards mm-hmm. Kangol hat on. <laughs> no, that's that's Joey Pants. Oh, okay. You're we thinking should. of Joe Pantoliano. Yeah, a lot, a lot, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I think I am, but other people could. Well, wear I think Kangol Hector has. also. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Alessandro have it yeah, on. Yeah, I think Alessandro's worn one. <laughs> Any bald actor likes to cover that up. I've never seen Hector wear a backwards Kangol. <laughs> well, you're not around. <laughs> Why would he hide this from me? <laughs> Check him out. You can now spy on him 24 hours a day. I made a deal with Hector. I said, listen, when I go to heaven, I promise I won't watch you. Oh, so wow, he has free reign to do any kind of weird he shit. Can he do wants. whatever he wants. Wow. Well, Gary, it's so good to talk to you. Please I mean, call me Mr. Marshall oh, God, so, I can, s- so I can later ask you to call me Gary. All right, Mr. Marshall, it's so good. Please to- call me Gary. <laughs> Gary, we're back. <laughs> Uh, it's so great to hear from you. We miss you. I, I, you know, we want to leave you alone. Certainly, we want to respect your privacy. Thank uh, you for and, once. And uh, but it's so good to hear from you. If if this is the last time, you were such a great boon to the show, such a great friend to the show. And and by uh, the way, I'm here too. Uh, is this Alan Thick? Yes, it is. I think Scott. we're good. We have a lot of people on the show. Oop, understood. Robin right. Thick's father. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he Sorry died. about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Have you been having to hang out with Alan Thick? Uh, more than I'd like. <laughs> yeah. Is it, do they group the people who have recently passed away together? It's a very specific group. It's uh, me, Alan Thick, and Hugh Hauser so far. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Gary, it's so good to hear from you. Scott, it's good to hear from you to listen. The fans wanna, love you. We love you. I want to say uh, uh, I miss you. It was so nice to be able to see you one more time. But now I got to return to heaven and uh, enjoy my eternal reward, which is, I guess, just being alive forever and looking at people on earth as they take showers. Watching us jerk off. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do it. <laughs> you know, hey, why not? <laughs> You'll see, I hope. <laughs> be good or be good at it. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gary. It's so good to talk to you. Uh, All right. I got to go. All right. Goodbye, Gary. Goodbye. <laughs> Cake boss. Oh, how long was I out? <laughs> Well, you uh, sporadically because we heard you say cake boss at one cake point. Boss, what? Oh, ne- never mind. Look, uh, it was a, it was a brief time, but I appreciate you doing that for our anniversary. It's, it's the least I could do, Scott Auction, but I'm sorry it, about that. Destroying the cake. It really that was exactly the least like you could you do. Yeah, screaming out, kill die, Scott Auction, and die. <laughs> well, look, we have to take a break. Uh, I don't care. Okay, but I'm telling Gino. So okay, uh, Q break. Let me get the break set up. Okay, Stanley break Q break. Is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking that of was shining, for you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, when we come back, we'll have more and more guests on our eighth anniversary uh, show. Cake Boss, can you stick around? Cake Boss, yeah. All right, great. And Gino, you'll be here, obviously. But not talking. And cue break. All right, we'll be ready. right back with more comedy. Bang bang. After this, roll break. <laughs> you want a lift? <laughs> Lyft, of course, is what I mean. Do you want a lift? Of course, you do. If you're choosing a ride-sharing company to drive for, go with a company that treats you better. Lyft. That's right. Don't drive with any of those other companies. With Lyft, you can earn hundreds of dollars a week. Do you want to make more? Okay, we'll drive more. It's never been easier to give yourself a raise. And only Lyft offers in-app tipping where you keep 100% 100% of your tips. It's not like the other places where you don't get any tips. No, 100% of what people tip goes to you. Drivers have been paid over $150 million in tips since the feature was introduced. Plus, with Express Pay, drivers get paid almost instantly instead of waiting for weeks to get your paycheck. Lyft's new AMP device has even taken the guesswork out of pickups by using color coding to help passengers find their drivers. It's a simple formula. Happy drivers means happy passengers, and maybe that's why 9 out of 10 Lyft rides gets a perfect 5-star rating. So, join the ride-sharing company that believes in treating its people better. Go to lyft.com bangbang today. That's L-Y-F-T dot 
slash bang bang today and you can get a $500 new driver bonus. That's lift.com slash bang bang. Limited time only. Terms apply. <laughs> Very special anniversary episode. And with that comes a very special sponsor, Lisa Mattress. Yes! Lisa's back. Lisa, you know what they are. They're the mattress company. They were founded with a simple goal, to help people sleep better. They didn't even care if they got paid for it. They got paid in Zs. When you sleep and snore better, that's what they're interested in. If if they could give away these mattresses, they would. And I think, personally, I think they should. <laughs> it's a bad business plan, but I think they should. They want you to sleep better and through the night with a trail of Z's coming out of your mouth all the way up to the ceiling. And with an innovative direct-to-consumer online strategy, Lisa's 100% American-made mattresses are challenging the traditional mattress industry. Forbes even named it one of the top 20 startups to watch. And they don't do that for just anyone. They do it for 19 other companies. Not to mention it was internet retailers' fastest growing e-retailer in 2015. And it's a B Corp certified. It's B Corp certified. I wonder what that B stands for. I got to figure out what that B stands for. I have some ideas. See for yourself why everyone is raving about Lisa and try by trying it in your home for 100 nights. Now, a lot of people go, oh, try it for a week, send it back or whatever. 100 nights? That's as many nights as Trump has had in office. Just imagine sleeping on Lisa for as long as Trump's been in office. You'll get the idea. This is risk-free. Choose from three different premium foams. Universal adaptive feel layers, including the 2-inch Avena foam top layer for cooling and breathability. The two-inch memory foam middle layer for body contouring or the six-inch dense core support foam for durability. These are exciting foams. Lisa mattresses available online only in the U.S., U.K., Canada, and Germany or at the Lisa Dream Gallery in Soho, NYC, and they ship to you compressed in a box, the signs from a mini fridge, with prices that just start at $525. What do you have to lose? What do you have, what do you have to lose? <laughs> Plus, for every 10 mattresses Lisa sells, they donate one to a shelter, which is great. They've already donated over 10,000 mattresses, which tells me they have sold 100,000 mattresses in total. Good to know. And right now, you can get $75 off a Lisa mattress with the offer code BANGBANG. Bang. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com. Enter offer code BANGBANG. Bang. You're getting it $75 off. Get that stream of Z's up to the ceiling, boy. We'll see you tonight on your mattress. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. We have uh, Gino Lombardo on the ones and the twos and the threes. Uh, and the oh, fours. yeah, I'm on the three and four now, too. Yeah, this is yeah, fucking thank you great. For, yeah, you should be on all of them. <laughs> all right, and there's uh, five through eight, but we can't hit that just yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we'll have more people coming in. Oh, fuck. Uh, obviously, uh, Gary Veles... Vale Buddy Velastro! <laughs> <laughs> it's been eight years! I say your name perfectly, Scott Oxerman. Well, <laughs> uh, and uh, this is exciting. We have another guest here on the show, and uh, she's been on the show show for several years now. It's always great to hear from her. She is the writer of the uh, America's, America's Funniest, Funniest, Funniest Home Video. Videos theme song. I recognize you. <laughs> yeah. Regina Crimp is here. Hello. Hey, baby. How you doing, baby? <laughs> I'm not just the writer. I'm the singer of it, too, honey. That's true. Yes. Uh, <laughs> apologies. I've been taking some voice lessons lately, I have to say. Oh, you sound great. Thank you. <laughs> They're for talking. <laughs> <laughs> no singing lessons necessary. Oh, no, I'm amazing at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's great to see you. Uh, I'm trying to remember the last time I saw you, maybe a year ago or so. It was probably, so, you know, I don't keep track of time. Just you don't? My, <laughs> of time? <laughs> the way my brain works. You know, time is a is a faction of our imagination. It's a construct. No, a faction. <laughs> no. <laughs> a flat circle. Time is a flat circle. And guess what? I work in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Regina, I know this will be impossible for you to answer then because you have no concept of time, but what have you been doing since the last time we saw you? Well, let me tell you, I have had a bit of a problem lately. Oh, a problem? I'm yeah. so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, you know I live in my car. Sure. And that's been going fine. But um, I, re <laughs> I recently ran out of gas, and let me tell you, you won't like where I ended up. Okay, so you were driving your your home around. I was driving my house around, as one is wont to do, and uh, I uh, 
Drove right over the side of the PCH onto the beach. <laughs> So you you were you were on, you were driving on PCH. Oh yeah, cruising, 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 singing, sorry. grilling some dogs on the engines. Grill. Wait, so you were singing along to the radio or just singing? I don't need the radio. I got my own pipes. <laughs> right. So what are you saying while you're? We've got last from coast to coast <laughs> to make you smile. <laughs> A real life look at each of you to capture all that style. <laughs> you're the red, the white, and blue. All the funny things. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it came. Wow, you got through a lot more of it than you usually do. Wow. So you're grilling dogs on the engine as you're driving. Grilling dogs, flipping cheeseburgers, you know. <laughs> sure. Do you have like an extra long spatula? I so you do. Can do you pictured it exactly right. It's always bad to flip a cheeseburger because the cheese will fall off. Well, that's once what it's I learned. Because yeah. guess what? That cheese went straight in the engine. Everything sputtered to a stop. My gas, my gas light went beep boop, empty, <laughs> mm. and I slid right onto the onto the beach into a volleyball game. <laughs> you realize you can just stop. <laughs> So cheese hit your engine, which knocked all the gas out of your yeah. car, <laughs> causing you to fly into a Caused volleyball game. Causing me to slide right slide. into a volleyball game, slick as a river. <laughs> wow. How far into the game were they? Uh, it was love, love. <laughs> oh, they were doing tennis scores. It was an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> But with a net in the middle. Yeah. For protection. <laughs> so maybe it was like a dental dam or something? <laughs> maybe they were orthodox. Yeah, what I meant to tell you was they were eating out a giant lady. And they used a volleyball net as a dental dam. And I slid right in. How big was this lady? How big disease was can't, she? Di- how big are the diseases that can't get through said dental dam? Uh, well, that's that the thing, because it's got still got big holes. But, you know, big pussy diseases for giants are very big. <laughs> so they get caught. And oh, trapped. I know. I read that children's book growing up. Yeah, you had to read it. Part of your schooling, eh? Everybody poops and big pussy diseases are giant. <laughs> yeah. It was a good time. But anyhow, really sad because I'm stuck on the beach. I need help. I need gas. <laughs> how do you mean you're oh, meaning your car is stuck? My car at You're home. here. How'd, well, you, how'd you get here? Well, you don't want to know. <laughs> I, well, I asked, so I, apparently I do, yeah. I flew on the back of a little wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why wouldn't we want to know that? I want to hear things like <laughs> that. That's, that's embarrassing. embarrassing. That's, you should leave, you should leave <laughs> with that. It should be embarrassing. It's embarrassing. How little is the wizard? Well, that's the thing. He was one foot tall. <laughs> that's pretty little. <laughs> I know. Okay. He's not here, is he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> well, can we talk to him? Uh, I said he wouldn't be on mic. He, he's nervous. <laughs> oh, let's get him over here. What well, what's his name? squirming duffel bag over there is? Yeah, hold on. Let's get him in. What's his name? I never asked him. <laughs> you never asked him. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Holy shit. Look at this little guy. Hi, how's it going? Hey, what's your name? My name's Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut? Peanut? Peanut the wizard? P apostrophe nut. <laughs> Peanut? <laughs> and you're a widget. And I've got panache. <laughs> P apostrophe Nash? Yeah. Bridges? <laughs> P apostrophe Nash He's Bridges. right here. What? <laughs> what are you doing Zip. here? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Don. Yes, Holy me, the star shit. of Nash Bridges, Don Johnson. <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Peanut, uh, it's so good to meet you. Is it? Well, well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I. Uh, <laughs> do you want to stick around? I or? don't want him to stick around. You know, he's he's the most annoying piece of shit I've had in my life, and he can't hear me when I talk this low. Oh, really? So yeah. he can only hear certain frequencies, like yeah. dogs. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's very annoying, and he caused my whole trip to be a disaster. <laughs> okay, but you got here. So. I did, but he but chatted with everyone along the way, oh. trying to cast spells and fix everyone's lives. But wait, you. F- you flew here on his back. You'd be surprised how much traffic is up there. So so these are people in the sky. He was yeah. helping them with their problems. Like a lot of drone strikes happening? Yeah, a lot of drone strikes are happening. Did you go the other way around the world? From yeah. between the beach. <laughs> it's between the beach and Earwolf. There's drone strikes Yeah, there. Oh, you wouldn't you, know it. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks, Obama. I love you, Obama. <laughs> People don't tend to follow it up with, I love you, Obama, Thanks, enough. Thanks, Obama. I love you, Obama. I want to see a movie about him as a young person falling in love so bad. Oh, yeah. Let's watch that. <laughs> I want to see the movie about him uh, living like the one Pachette after he's out of office. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this guy. $400,000 to fucking speak. It's, come on, man. You were president. This That's is what we should focus as- on right now. <laughs> I wish I got paid that much to do anything. Oh. Well, I, can I ask you a question, Miss yeah. Crimp? So... He's only one foot long, this guy. Oh, shit. This well, he's one foot tall. But not one foot tall. But if he lies down, he's one foot well, long. Well, presumably. Well, if when she... he lies down, he's three feet you long. You said you've. <laughs> Wait, now what? That I don't understand. Well, he is a wizard. <laughs> 
<laughs> so did, so- <laughs> did you stand on top of him like he was a surfboard? No. Surfboard. <laughs> surfboard. Um, no, I, I laid on his back like I was his backpack. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, I'm so- <laughs> <laughs> but you, but uh, Regina, how how tall of a woman are you? I've never been able you've to never, ascertain. You've never ascertained. Uh, I'm five six. Five six. So Ooh. quite average. Yeah. So you're four six longer than this wizard. But when I'm laying down, I'm six nine. Oh. <laughs> Because of my hair. Oh, right. So you're four foot taller, six feet longer. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Copy that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I follow. So what a part about the beach did you say Scott wasn't going to like? Because <laughs> yeah. you said you're yeah. not going to like where you ended up, and you're already you, the story. I thought he wouldn't like the giant <laughs> pussy that I slid into. Yeah. Well, you don't know Scott then. This I guy guess I loves don't. pussy. Does he like that? <laughs> Guys, I'm, afraid, I'm right here. I'm afraid to ask him. I'll Does answer. he like that? We're, we're T minus three from. It's not that kind of show. God, why won't she just talk to me? Directly. Why does he well, always ask my me, friends? Gino, does he like that? He loves <laughs> Scott. Sorry, Scott's not talking to you right now. He's being a bit of a pussy <laughs> about uh, Big Pussy, uh, the Sopranos character. <laughs> oh, not the Big Pussy. I, no. Yeah. Wait. You know, was he a loves giant large lady. vaginas? <laughs> was it the dude from the, the Sopranos? <laughs> wait a second. What does she look like? <laughs> uh, Italian. <laughs> yeah, it was her. Does her <laughs> vagina? Did her vagina look like a, it a like giant pepperoni. Italian man? <laughs> <laughs> What if he's your uncle? Do you call him Uncle Big Pussy? Uh, yeah, you do. Okay, <laughs> okay, thanks. Hey, how come those uh, Sopranos guys don't work more? Yeah, I mean, they certainly did for a year or two afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, like Paulie Walnuts. What's he up to? We haven't yeah. seen him in anything. How come recently? he can't be in a Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> they can't just have it. Oh no, it's. <laughs> He was a celestial being, and he's like, hey, come on, Star Lord, get the fuck out of here. Polly Walnut's hair sort of looks like Jeff Goldblum's. Oh, shit. Polly Walnut? Polly want a walnut? Is he a parrot? Hey. <laughs> Wait, is this your first attempt? At- <laughs> it's, my, it's my last attempt to stand up. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I got more. Hey, you ever watch that show Sopranos and wonder why they're not going lower? <laughs> Like, why not a spinoff? Like, you know, the, the baritones. <laughs> the Rockford Files now. Hey, hey, hey. You ever watch HBO and wonder what that static is at the top? And you're like, hey, hitting my TV. Then you realize it's the logo. <laughs> you ever watch Logo? Uh, I'm not gay. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying you are. I just want to tell you, I'm not. But yes, I watch Logo all the time. <laughs> uh, have you been seeing anyone? Mm. Yeah, beautiful lady. Uh, wait, so you are gay. Yeah. <laughs> You're a mess of contradictions. <laughs> wait, this isn't the lady you ran into on the beach, well, is I it? I shouldn't say yeah, but we aren't official. But yeah, I am seeing It's her. Big Pussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> her name's not Big Pussy. I mean, you met, you met in a very intimate her name's way. Janet. If you drive, Janet. <laughs> if you drive a car into Cunnilingus, I mean, the, that's the least you could do. Yeah, she said her, no, she never felt anything so good until my engine revved right into her pussy. Until <laughs> your cheese cheesy. filled engine. <laughs> drove right into her pussy through a net. <laughs> Funicello. Oh, yeah, she is, speaking of beaches. She, yeah. <laughs> speaking Bend of beaches, hey, the wind beneath my wings. That. <laughs> <laughs> that Funicello, <laughs> what a bitch. We should, what a, shut, what it. A we should shut it down. We should what shut it down. Beach. We need to shut this down. <laughs> what a beach. The whole show. The whole we show shut this off. <laughs> well, let me sing us an outro. <laughs> They had laughs from coast to coast to make us smile. Comedy Bang Bang tried its best, but it couldn't capture style. They said bye-bye. <laughs> we said bye-bye. And then the laugh. <laughs> Did you it's, ever get like? Did you ever talk to Saget? Were you like tight with Saget? Yeah, we were very close. You know, we dated for a while after his wife died, or uh, is that only in the Full House show? Uh, that, you know, he lived very method, so he had those three girls follow him everywhere, and it was uncomfortable. But only one of the twins. <laughs> they had to switch off. Yeah, they were method. Child too. labor laws says you can't let a kid be a method actor and live That's with right. you unless they're twins. That's you can right. switch them off. Yeah, four hours at a clip. Yeah. Well, guys, it's well. It's great to see you, Regina. Oh uh, um, yeah, it's great to see you too. Obviously, can you stick around here for a bit? I sure can. My wizard won't leave until later. <laughs> Peanut, you've been very quiet. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to chime in at any point. No. Uh, or grant us any wishes. <laughs> no. Oh, you want to use me? <laughs> 
Uh, we do have to get to our next guest, and this is uh, really exciting uh, for us. They've been on the show. Well, one of them's been on the show once, and uh, the other has been on the show a few times, uh, but it's always nice to see them. Uh, first, we have uh, Bone Queef. What's up, motherfuckers? I'm back. <laughs> it's me, your girl, Bone Queef. Bone like a dog and queef like a pussy fart. Yes, Bone Queef. So nice to see you again. Yeah, Scott. How you doing, boo? It's good to see you, baby. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, uh, and you, uh, uh, you you're here with another guest. I'm not sure if you're here together or if you're here uh, coincidentally at the We're same time. We're here together. This is my sister. You met her before, too. This is your sister. Uh, <laughs> please welcome back, Chief. Greetings, Gamshu. <laughs> I've just flown around the world to get here. All the way from the Ozark Mountains. Did you see any drone strikes? <laughs> around the world. Excuse me? See any drone strikes on your way A here? A ton. Thank you, Obama. I love I, you. <laughs> So, Bone Queef and Chief, I, I guess I never realized that you were sisters, but I mean, your names rhyme, and a That's lot of people right. like to do that with their with naming their children. Yeah. We were separated at birth. Mm-hmm. My My mom, mom was like, this one's going to be called Chief, and this one's going to be called Bone Queef. Bone like the shit that's left when you done it in ribs and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> and wait, you're twins? No. <laughs> we okay. were just so your mom was, at birth. but your mom was not naming you. Uh, you were separated at birth, meaning you're twins, and no. you were separated. We're two years apart. <laughs> okay. yeah. So you were separated at the younger one's birth. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> and your mom named you at the same time, though. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I'm older, but I did not have a name for two whole years. She wow. waited. Waited she was like, and waited. I don't know about this one, but when I poop another one out of my front, I'm going to know what this one's name is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My mother waited just like I waited in the Himalayas for one young Carmen San Diego. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we we uh, first heard from you um, uh, maybe a couple of months ago, but have you tracked down Carmen San Diego? I still have yet to track down that buzzling beast. <laughs> But I will. I she, will find her. And as soon as I find her, I will lock her up in handcuffs in my own personal Acme prison cell. Lock her up. Lock, lock her, her up. up. Lock, lock her, her up. up. Lock, lock her, her up. up. Lock, lock her up. up. Down with Hillary. <laughs> Who? Thanks, Obama. I'm I with him, you. whoever, anyone but her. Yeah, as long as it's not a her, I'm with him. <laughs> This is not what the show is about. <laughs> Maybe it should be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know, people uh, are tired of being pushed around. Gotta I guess they're tired of the Pod Save America, and we we need some sort of, like, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> equal time. Uh, God bless America. All right, all right. So when did you guys find out that you were uh, uh, sisters? Right on. It was we did the twenty three and me shit and it just it said <laughs> this this chick is your sister, go find her. So then I took a quick little trip over to the Himalaya Ozarks where I found my girl over here. She was chilling looking for this motherfucker Carmen San Diego. She ain't been found her, but guess what? I knew where she was. You oh. know where Carmen San Diego is? Hell yeah. That's ridiculous that she won't tell me. <laughs> hey, you won't you won't tell her. Nah, no, no, no. But so, I enjoy it. It keeps the magic. If I find where she is immediately. I won't be able to have a business anymore. That's right. My whole business model is surrounded by finding Carmen San Diego. What about Rockapella? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, Rockapella. Did you check from Kiev to Carolina? Yes. Okay, that's all because I Because she sneaks around the world uh, from Chief, Kiev to Carolina. Chief, I have a question about your business model. Uh, who is paying you to find Carmen San Diego? Nobody. <laughs> The fever in my own heart. I lust after those milky white breasts. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that we found out last time you were on the show. You're, you're somewhat obsessed. Chief trying to fuck Carmen San Diego. Shut up, Queef. Maybe that's why she's in hiding. Yeah. My name is not Queef, it's Bone Queef. I told you this bone like I ain't got a jealous bone in my body and Queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> I barely know who you are. <laughs> we are sisters. Have you seen Carmen's titties when she keeps that red coat on? Exactly. So that's my main mission. <laughs> is to take that <laughs> to red coat take off? that red trench coat off. <laughs> what if she don't have tits under there? You ever think about that? Like, what if she just got, like, well, transparent two orbs? tiny red coats. <laughs> yeah, she's, 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 like, see-through all the way to the back. Blows. It's like, y'all know Topshop be selling them jeans that just got the transparent kneecaps? Like, yeah, what if she like the so fine jeans. Right, 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 yeah. What if Carmen San Diego just has transparent boob region? <laughs> and you, you just see, see the back. Organs. You just see through. <laughs> yeah. 
There, she's got two hollow pits where her chest is supposed <laughs> to be. Right. And her spine, the T3. How, how lucky Ooh. would that be? Well, then my life's work will be null. <laughs> So is that the only part of Carmen San Diego Bone Chief that you're interested in? Bone, Bone Chief, Chief, how dare you! <laughs> Don't That's associate me with this. Celebrity couple name. Please. <laughs> Hashtag Bone Chief. Make that shit. Hashtag trend. Bone Chief. By the way, everyone, it's going to be trending it's a bit by the of a end of today. Your portmanteau. <laughs> It's Wait, you don't like really. you don't like it's sort of a perfect portmanteau. <laughs> you don't like portmanteaus either when they're clumsy. Uh, you know, I could dig a leave them. That's a reference. <laughs> bon, uh, bon Queef, well, what have you been up to? I mean, Ooh. obviously, you found this out and you uh, tracked yeah. Chief yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, So I've been looking. Yeah, I've been trying. Honestly, it's been a bit of a personal journey for me recently. Mm-hmm. You know, I have been alone in this world and I was like, I need to find my family, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I did 23 Me. I uh, found Chief. I also found out that our, our last name is Saint Gynecologist. So <laughs> Your last name is Saint Gynecologist. <laughs> that's, that's right. I am Bone Queef Saint Gynecologist. <laughs> I chose not to take it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not canonical for you. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a pretty big, pretty big uh, couple of weeks to me. Uh, yeah. So, no, I just real quick, your mom never mentioned that someone was. Who? Which one of you is older? I'm two years old. Yeah, so your mom never is. mentioned uh, that, that you had a young, like a younger sister. No, neither of us grew up with her. Well, yeah, that's that's what I was oh, wondering because she got you rid of you with two, yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. she came me for two years. Had another one. Was like, I do not like the look of them together, and, and got, got rid, rid of both. Of it just <laughs> happened to be on the same day. That's right. So on would, your birthday, on my birthday, August sixth, nineteen fifty-one. Jesus, wait, right. Bone Queef, you were born in nineteen forty-nine. Hell yeah, black on crack, motherfucker. <laughs> Indeed, it does not. But I tell you what does crack. You're 69. That's right, baby. The best number. <laughs> Saint gynecologist. Yeah, bone queef saint gynecologist. Bone like, ooh, hold up. I got a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> bone like sticks and stones might break my queef like a pussy fart. Saint like St. James and gynecologist like a pussy doctor. <laughs> oh, boy. The queef is always pussy fart. <laughs> no matter how many bone analogies she comes up with. <laughs> But also, people are more familiar with bone than queef, like, as a word. <laughs> like, to explain, bone is the part I think everyone's picking up on. <laughs> so are you guys going to get together for family reunions now? Are you looking at the St. Gynecologist family tree? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're trying to find everybody that's in our family and simultaneously look for Carmen San Diego. So it's a bit of a two-pronged uh, She path. might be at the family reunions. Who you knows? don't know. I did not want this woman to help me find Carmen San Diego. <laughs> you want uh, to you love me. I have always used preteens <laughs> because they are the sleuthiest of sleuths. <laughs> They're very nosy. Very that's nosy. Right. By the way, you're, you say you're helping, but you know where she is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a 69 year old woman. I know shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know where that bitch is hiding. It's in a log cabin, but I ain't going to tell you where. I don't want to hear. I didn't even <laughs> want this meeting. I only took the 23 and Me quiz because one time <laughs> that common San Diego. <laughs> it's so funny that you can answer 10 multiple choice questions and they tell you who your family is. Just send in the Scantron. How much of it is trivia? <laughs> All of it. Five of the, five of the questions <laughs> are just <laughs> literally all trivia. It's ten multiple choice <laughs> trivia questions, and then the they say you have a sister. Yep. And then you swab your DNA. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the only reason I did it was because one time Carmen San Diego spit in my mouth. <laughs> so you are, wait. So you you hot. have met Carmen San Diego in person in the past? Not met like hello, how do you do? Just in passing. What is that? What is so Stop just right there. you were passing by each other one day. Yes. She spit into your mouth. <laughs> it was on the island of San Tropez but in what the if, south of France. But what if her spit is actually the one that's a sister with Bone Queef? <gasps> oh, 23 and who? <laughs> 23 skidoo. Wait, how much longer after the spit in your mouth was the quiz that you took? Four, it, it was, it was a lot, that was in the 70s. <laughs> Three didn't so, come out too recently. Common San Diego do got strong DNA. Maybe that shit was living in there for 35 years. I try everything I can to find that common San Diego. What have you tried? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you say you've tried everything you can think of. It's what just a classic follow-up question, <laughs> Chief. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Bone Queef, you're 67. I, oh, I, shit. I I'm so sometimes. sorry. I know I don't want to get my daily Monday correction. You were so hyped up to say the letter 69. I meant numbers. <laughs> I, I, know. Know. I, better, 
I better I wish they were letters. It's one of my favorite letters as well. <laughs> Does that mean I should stop trying to 69 this lady? <laughs> yeah. Please don't. Uh, back out of my handstand. <laughs> yeah. Were you looking at yourself in a mirror? Jesus, you're seven feet tall when you do a handstand. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> it is. Well, guys, it's uh, when I say guys, I mean all of you. Uh, it's we need, to take, we need to take a break. I'm certainly not referring to Chief and Bone Queef. <laughs> um, uh, we need to take a break. We are uh, women. Can you <laughs> can you stick around? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We ain't got nowhere else to be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have everywhere to be. <laughs> like because the obviously town of Brisbane. <laughs> Australia, <laughs> full of snakes and sneaky snake palm in San Diego. When you walked into the room, did you think she might be here? Perhaps. This is Earwolf, <laughs> yes. named after the f- fictional town of Earwolf <laughs> right. yes. in Sweden. <laughs> I've been to Earwolf, Sweden. That should say the Our, fictional town of Earwolf, Sweden. <laughs> I, hate I have been. To, I have been to the fictional town of Earwolf, Sweden. I'm a queen there. All right, we need. <laughs> We need to take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll have more from Gino, more from Cake Boss, more from Regina Crimp, more from more from Bone Queef, more from Bone Chief. Archaeological digging, Queef like a pussy fart. All right, we'll come back. We'll be. I'm singing underneath. (laughs) We'll be right back with more comedy bang bang after this and roll (laughs) edge. Are you hiring? Are you? I need a job. Please. Are you hiring? Do you know where to post your job to find the best candidates? Does anyone know these kind of answers? Yes, they do. Because I'll tell you one thing, posting your job in one place, like the classifieds, remember how that's how you used to get someone to work at your place, posting an ad in the class. You'd wait like five days. Suddenly, whoever happens to read the classifieds one day comes by. That's not, it's not efficient. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find all of these top quality TQ candidates that you need to cull from in order to find the right person. If you want the right person, the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all of the top job sites. Yeah, it sounds great for me to say that, but that's impossible, right? No, it is possible. Now you can do that because ZipRecruiter already has 9 million resumes you can search through in their database. ZipRecruiter is the way to go. What can you do on ZipRecruiter? Okay, you've t- uh, you- you've told me about their 9 million resumes. Uh, can you add multiple people to your account to make it the most efficient for your team to find the best hire? Yes, of course. Why are you even asking me that? What a dumb question. Of course you can do that. It's ZipRecruiter, not something terrible. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 100 plus job sites, including social media networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with but the click of a mouse, my dear boy. ZipRecruiter's handy website shows trending career fields, city searches. Find candidates in any city, any industry, nationwide is on your side. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll into ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. No juggling emails, no calls to your office. Quickly screen these candidates, rate them, hire the right person, do it fast. That's what ZipRecruiter is. And... Let me just tell you, if you have any issues, any issues at all, don't fret. ZipRecruiter's friendly and human being support staff. By the way, that's that's written like aliens wrote it. We are human beings. Fret not. ZipRecruiter, a little fishy here on whether you're human or not. You may be alien. ZipRecruiter may be run by aliens. Who knows? They say they're humans, though. But their support staff is ready to help. Find out today. Not tomorrow, not yesterday. Well, it'd be impossible to do it yesterday. Why ZipRecruiter has been featured on Forbes, Wall Street Journal, Time Magazine, New York Times, TechCrunch, or TechCrunk, and CBS, and why it's been used by over 1 million businesses. Right now, my listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. That is ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. One more time to get it right. For free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. Well, it's a special show, and that means a special sponsor because they're back. Squarespace, our old friends, are here. You have an idea, right? I 
think we get several of them as the day progresses. But uh, maybe your next idea is something cool. Maybe it's something great. Who knows? Whatever it is, count on Squarespace to help you create an eye-catching online platform that brings it to life. To life? L'chaim! Whether you need a portfolio to showcase your work or maybe you uh, have a store and you're going to sell products and services. Maybe you have a blog and you want to get those ideas out there. Squarespace gives you everything you need to look like an expert right from the jump. You even get a unique domain which is hard to say, but it strengthens your brand and makes it easier for visitors to find you. And we all know Squarespace has award-winning templates. That's a given, right? So creating a beautiful website is a simple and intuitive process. You can add and arrange your content and features. And I've said it before, I'll say it two more times probably. With but the click of a mouse, my dear boy! And there's nothing to install, patch, upgrade ever. If you do have a question though, Squarespace's award-winning 24-7 customer support can help you out with any problem, no matter how technical or how trivial-seeming. Think of them as your very own IT department. So, make your next move and start your free trial at squarespace.com today. Enter offer code BANGBANG to get 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's BANGBANG. Squarespace.com. Enter BANGBANG. I'll see you on the internet. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here with, uh, of course, we have Gino Lombardo on the uh, boards. Cut, cut commercial, initiate, act <laughs> four sequence. <laughs> you have vo- voice commands on this? <laughs> it's like a robot. Yeah, are you initiate, some sort of cyborg? It just sequence. helps me. I know it's supposed. It's an audio medium, but it just helps me to talk through what I'm doing over oh, here. I see. Okay, and then it's like you're giving yourself like a, a little uh, pep talk. Yeah. Uh, Cake Boss is obviously Cake here, and uh, Regina Cramp. We've got loves. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we have Bone Queef. Bone Queef. Bone like crazy bone, and Queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> like crazy bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You could have just said like Bone you, Thugs and Harmony. I feel like you got four more then. <laughs> 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 we also have Chief is here. Chief, you have nothing to say when Chief, I introduce you? <laughs> I do have everything to say. <laughs> Greetings, Gumshoe, from the Isle of Capri Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, our eighth anniversary show. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, of course, been going on eight years now. And uh, one thing that you can say about the show is we always we have an open door policy, and uh, really anyone who wants to come hey, through. Hey, 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 is this the bathroom? Excuse me. Is this the bathroom? <laughs> Wait, it's just the bathroom. She got no, 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 no. This is the bathroom. I'll, lay, bathroom. I'll lay down. What are we doing? Do shit on me. music? <laughs> no, please don't shit on Regina Krim. <laughs> Look how long she is. <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Where's the bathroom? I'm working on a construction uh, down the hall. I'm working on a construction down the hall. Oh, what are you and so constructing? So I'm looking for the bathroom. A building. What the fuck? I work down the hall. You down the hall. I saw they were putting up a smaller building inside this building. Yeah. I it was like it. nine tenths I, scale. It's like a magic eye. <laughs> Look at them both. You go cross-eyed. You see a unicorn. Is this building gonna eventually be a, like a Russian nesting doll? No, it's a hotel. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, this is a hotel? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm building the hotel down the hall. Oh, if you okay. want to sleep here, you got a place to go. Finally. Hey, that's right. That'll work out for you, Regina. Hey, yeah, you're hey. kind of cute. Oh, hey, uh, DTF? Uh, she, <laughs> she's seeing someone. Oh, yeah, well, sort of. She's seeing Big Pussy. Well, that's not her name. From The Sopranos. Whoa. No, oh. her name is Janet, and she's a giant, and I, whatever, you'll understand that. <laughs> Big Pussy's I don't know more that of a nickname based on the size of some of her anatomy. Oh, her cool. Pussy. Yeah, her pussy's uh, cool. what, What's your name, sir? Uh, Chucky. Chucky Spliff. Oh, Chucky, it's so good to meet you. Yeah, right. nice to meet you, too. I, hey. thought, I, I thought I knew everyone who wandered the halls here, but... Hey, uh, no, 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 you never met me before, no way. <laughs> I, got a, I got a bunch of friends over there, and then we work all... We all work together, and we, you know, take breaks, and so I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, well, uh... It's you gotta de- go bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go bathroom. I gotta go bathroom real bad. Do you talk like a toddler all the time? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here? What are you guys doing? What's Oh, uh, well, this is Bone Queef. Big, uh, yeah, oh. what's up, y'all? It's me, Bone Queef. Oh, fucking bone like. Ooh, it's about to rain. I can feel it in my bones. Queef like a pussy fart. Saint gynecologist, Saint like Bernard, that slobbery dog, and gynecologist like a pussy doctor. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that's making my head spin over here. And who's this? It's me, Gumshoe. Chief. <laughs> Chief. 
she speaking also of, sang gynecologist. Speaking of bathroom, I told you I wasn't taking that for name. It's a surname. <laughs> what are you the chief of? Are you a police officer? I'm the chief of Acme Industries. <laughs> it is my company that was founded by my mother who left me and my sister here at yeah. birth. Switched at birth. So like wait, the CW. So your mother switched, switched at birth. <laughs> what? I thought you were, one separated. Right. you were separated. You were switched? No, no, no. Sw- I was born two years earlier. As right. soon as Chief came out, they switched us. They put a two year old in the baby bassinet. <laughs> so that's why your mother, a St. Gynecologist, left you the business. <laughs> yes. So you're business. not so you grew up with both of your mothers. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> okay, please. Okay. <laughs> so I was adopted <laughs> by another woman. Chief Senior. Oh. Oh, I'm you're Chief, a junior. Yes, I'm oh. Chief Junior Gumshoe. Good sleuthing, you sleuthy sloth. <laughs> Sloths. <laughs> eating eucalyptus in the trees of Australia. <laughs> yes, sloths eating eucalyptus. <laughs> Not koalas. <laughs> koalas do too. Koalas are the creepy cousins of sloths. Mm. Does it make sloths docile as well? Yes. Mm. It makes them high. One time I made a koala cake to scale, mm. and after I finished it, I burst into tears. Because you killed a koala and used the meat for cake? <laughs> That's right. I, I just would... put icing over a skinned koala. Ooh. I would cry, too. That sounds delicious, Gumshoe. <laughs> it wasn't very good, actually. Sloppy so, blood. Chucky, uh, I'm wondering yeah. why you haven't left the room and found a bathroom at this point. Oh, uh, no, I'm having a good time here. Oh, you're fr- Feel free to yeah. stick around. All I mean, right. I'd love to. I just hate to think of your bladder full of pee. Yeah, it's full of pee. It's I like to think to of it. Fit the pu- what? <laughs> Hey, Chucky, where are you from? <laughs> oh, I'm from, uh, the, you know, everywhere, a little bit everywhere. A uh, little bit everywhere. Your voice You're sounds familiar to me, everywhere. to me and Velestro over oh, here. Oh, yeah, did yeah, you, yeah. Did you move around a lot as a kid? Army brat? Army brat? Yeah, I moved around. No, I, went, I wasn't an army brat, but I did move around a lot. I ran away a lot from, from home, so oh. I ran away. I was born and raised, though, in a certain place, and then I left there, and then now. You constantly then, run away, so you feel like you're from everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, yeah, that would explain yeah. your accent, because yeah, you're kind of from everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Sort of like Patrick Lambert in Highlander. Uh, what? Highlander. <laughs> like the highlands of New Mexico. <laughs> Las Vegas, New Mexico. <laughs> Literally the lowest land in America. But there are highlands in the New Mexico. <laughs> right near the Colorado border. The Chuck- Taos Gorge. Hey, Colorado, hey, Colorado, hey, that's a place. Yeah, I've been, I've been there. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Chucky, there, have you always sure. been a construction uh, worker? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much since everything I can remember. Yeah, well, Wait, I you can only remember <laughs> everything I can back remember. to a certain point? Yeah, I can only, I didn't really go to, well, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I don't what's, really... what's your earliest memory? Here's the thing. I woke up, I was in a hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long ago was this? Were Wait, you, you were an adult? You weren't. You weren't born. Were you zero. Yeah. Uh, I think it was an adult because I was all hooked up to stuff and I was wearing a gown. Oh. Only yeah, adults can wear that, gowns. <laughs> yeah, that's that's <laughs> not specific at all. Hey, you think maybe you uh, didn't wear your hard hat on your construction set and you got hit in the head with a big old beam? Well, I don't know about. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Are you saying that because uh, Chucky has 55 <laughs> stitches in a horseshoe pattern around his yeah. skull? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's the earliest date you remember? <laughs> June 12th, 2017. <laughs> okay, that's, that that's even a month from yet. now. <laughs> That's a month from now. <laughs> oh my God! Uh-oh. Did you? Did you? Are you a time traveler? <laughs> Holy shit! That's Beep, dangerous. Boop, yeah. boop, 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 I got a question. <laughs> I got a name-related question for you, Boo. Oh yeah, is Bone Queef. Spliff, <laughs> is Spliff your given name, or did you choose that for yourself? Spliff. That's a family name. Do, do you even remember your name? <laughs> yeah, Chucky Spliff. <laughs> you seem surprised by it every time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I remember I remember everything that's ever happened to me. And here's, here's the other thing, like too. Like Mary Lou Henna? <laughs> so you what got here you, so you hard that you remember every goddamn detail of your life. What yeah. were you wearing on May 3rd, 2009? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I was, uh... Oh. Come to think of it, come to think of it, I don't know. Wait a minute. Well, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not what weird. What did you wear? I don't know. No one does. It's not weird. Yeah. I remember what I wore. 
Because you wear the same goddamn thing every day. <laughs> Shut up, Mowgli. <laughs> I've never had a sister. I've never wanted one less. <laughs> No, what did you wear? A red blazer with a yellow lapel <laughs> and a white shirt under with white mm. pleated pants. What, you, you mean what you're wearing right now? Exactly <laughs> mundo gum too. Oh, you say exactly mundo. Like Fonzie. <laughs> I was in the island of Italy. <laughs> Great island. And I learned. <laughs> yeah, this, was, this was back when it wasn't connected to the mainland. <laughs> yeah, did they weld it together at this a certain point? This was pre isthmus. That's right. That's Before right. Before they yeah, put yeah. the isthmus in. Hey, this uh, is, like, is this some kind of family dinner? <laughs> you can say that. Hey, when you're here, you're family, so dig in. Oh, all right. No there is, unli- there is unlimited bread. He's eating the bre- table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't eat the table, and please Spaghetti. stop smashing Great. your dick into it, Gino. Uh, hold on. If I just press my dick super hard into the corner, I can. Yeah, he's been doing that the entire. The entire show. What does it do? It just feel, it's just something to feel, you know? Like pain that. is close to pleasure. Yeah, I just that. on the other side. Yeah. It's a fine line. Yeah. Fine I get line. That. I'm very yeah. depressed. Mm, pleasure. <laughs> Find the most pleasure on the island of Monaco. <laughs> Prince Grace died there. <laughs> Prince Grace. Is this a commercial? <laughs> Princess Grace. Princess oh, Grace. Excuse my friend. Princess Grace. I imagine you get off the, the plane to Monaco and the guy's like, hey, this is where Princess Grace died. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, boy. Take us hey. back. Uh, oh. Chucky, take Oh, sorry. Did you want to say something? I had some stand up I wanted to do 20 minutes ago that I couldn't say. Oh, yeah. Feel free. Why don't we? <laughs> Now's the time. Hey, doesn't, you know, doesn't Portmanteau sound like a Portmanteau? Portmanteau, I mean? <laughs> Wait, start over. Does it portmanteau sound like a portmanteau? Yeah, it's like Natalie Portman's toe. All right, bye. <laughs> okay. Portman 2. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> Natalie Portman 2, the sequel. Uh, what, uh, Chucky, What's take us back to that day. How the about earliest, Starbird also? <laughs> the earliest thing you remember, you woke up in the hospital like with a gown one. on. Yeah, so there I was in the hospital, gown on, TV on silent. <laughs> A bunch of waitresses all around me. Waitresses? <laughs> waitresses? Were you hooked up at an Olive Garden? Or were you at a Scrubs restaurant? <laughs> you at a Scrubs-themed restaurant? Uh. Look, uh, I don't, I, that feels like I was in a the hospital. There's waitresses there. Everybody had a plate. But but nobody was eating. But nobody was eating. Okay. What kind of food were they serving? Uh, Just a bunch of wires and cords and stuff. Was it, was it good? Were you in a Best Buy? Well, I don't know. It was... Uh, you got it. Hey, 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 sorry, sorry. Everyone back off. Everyone back off. Hey, let him, let him breathe. Chucky, do you remember what was on the TV that was playing silently in the hospital? Yeah, it was some kind of cooking show. It was like, uh, I think it was a woman. She was standing in front of a table, and she had a dog on the table. And she was looking at the dog all around and thinking about how she wanted to cook it. Sounds like the and- Barefoot Contessa. <laughs> It Wait, sounds gonna, like the meal before the koala cake. <laughs> yeah, sounds, gonna, you might have been watching Cake Boss. Cake Boss. She was gonna cook the dog. Yeah, yeah. She was gonna cook the dog. Something. She was looking at the dog. So I don't know. Waitresses maybe. with trays of wires walking around. You're watching a lady yeah. cook a dog silently on the television. Was this a dream that you had? <laughs> Or is life sort of like a dream for you right yeah. now? Describe- life is like a dream. Shaboom. If I could only dip it, I'm dip up above. <laughs> okay, well, describe what you're seeing right now. Uh, okay, I see a spaghetti sack, a lot of trees. There's a man with a with cans on his ears. Well, at least that's accurate. <laughs> Colloquial <laughs> and accurate. Accidentally accurate. A, a stack of rocks. A Harvey motorcycle. Gum shoot. Harvey. Harvey and uh, Harvey Davidson. It's a knockoff Harley. Motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I got here. I got a nice Harvey. I got a Rolette watch and a Harvey motorcycle. Is that a motorcycle with like a giant rabbit on the back? Uh, Is that a goosey bag? Is that a it's motorcycle me, with a giant motorcycle. rabbit on the back? Or am I just happy to see myself? <laughs> anyway, back to my story. Okay. So there I was. There's waitresses going around trays of wires. And then, of course, then, of course. Of course. And then, of course. Of course. Someone comes in. Okay. And he's, he's a man. <gasps> Who was it? You have a list, man? <laughs> it might, might be from the surgery. But oh, right, right. he's dressed all in white. And he's really tall. And he's got, he's got one of those things on his head that's like a CD. 
He's got a CD on <laughs> like his head. Like a doctor's costume a doctor. from the 70s? <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe it was In like a, a vaudeville. <laughs> it could have been a DVD. That's a good call. Or yeah, I guess it could have been a or DVD. Or a Blu-ray. Or a small laser disc. <laughs> <laughs> A silver LP. Uh, uh, yeah. So he came in and he leaned over me and he kissed me on my lips. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> and right. How was it? It was so sweet. Is that what woke you up? <laughs> no, I was already awake. I was like looking around and stuff. And he okay. came over and he kissed me on my lips. Okay. And he said, Chucky, you're going to be okay. <laughs> That's that's nice. That's a caring doctor. Is yeah. it? I think that might be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you might have been assaulted in that Olive Garden <laughs> slash breast by slash doctor. Breast by? <laughs> breast by, yeah. <laughs> breast like titties and creep like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> So did this guy, after he kissed you, kind of explain your situation at all? I mean, no, he just said, you're going to be okay, Chucky. Because I thought lip. this was going to have some resolution, this tale you were telling. Yeah, were you, you discharged? Or? Well, yeah, he like pulled me up to a seated position. I did got he put up some discharge bed. on you from himself? Oh, Scott, come on. Hey, it's, come not come on. Kind of Scott. Scott. it's not that it's not kind of show. It's not that kind of show. It's not. I apologize. The <laughs> island of discharge. <laughs> <laughs> Off the coast of Montego Bay, Jamaica. <laughs> Ooh, to rid him. <laughs> I saw Carmen San Diego there one time in 1989 as the Berlin Wall fell and David Hasselhoff saying I've been looking for freedom. And you were watching that off the coast of Montego Bay on the yes. island of discharge? Yes. Whoa. Why, you know what they say, when in Rome, <laughs> when, when in, in discharge. discharge. <laughs> so what did, did it, the doctor so, let you out or? Yeah, yeah. So he pulled me up to a seated position. Okay. He he escorted me up to a standing position. <laughs> so he pulled you up to a seated position and then escorted you no, up to a standing. He kissed you. <laughs> yeah. Then well, no, that he was... lifted your body up and put his body on your body and y'all rose to standing position. Well, he just like escorted me. So he just like held his elbow out. You know how okay. a gentleman does when he's like walk down the stairs with me. Okay. So he pulled. He had to physically pull you up to the seated, but by at that yeah. point you were physically able to stand. So he yeah. just escorted you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so God, then, your scar is oozing. <laughs> uh oh, is it green or red? It's purple. Uh oh, um, is it is it like a mood ooze? <laughs> a what? A, a mood. A mood. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, like when the first purple, course you eat at a meal and a mood and a mood and a mood ooze. No, it's true actually, Regina. You're very perceptive. Whatever color Thank my you. you remembered is. her name of all the fucking shit in your brain right now. Yeah, she's a bunch of spaghetti. I'm never gonna forget that. Oh, eat me. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah. So my ooze, whatever color it is, that's the mood I'm in. So, so it's, it's like purple. A mood ooze. Yeah, yeah it's, it's mood ooze. What does it mean? It means I'm happy as a clam. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so he escorted me to standing, and uh, what happened after that was he gave me a little pat on my ass. Oh, and he did said, you feel violated at that point? No, I, I, I was loving it. <laughs> ba -da, ba -ba -da. <laughs> oh, wait, is that another one did of you yours? Write that? I did. And then Justin Timberlake stole it, and then someone else did it. <laughs> well, let's hear a little bit of it. It goes like this. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. I'm loving it because uh, uh, excuse me, I'm dying. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm dying. Oh no, oh, no you're no. dying? I'm dying. What? You're, what what happened? Way to bury the lead. What happened? I don't feel good. Oh you will shit. Penut, save her, Penut! 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 I don't want to! <laughs> oh, no, <what laughs> no we have a wizard guy. here. I'm not going to! Yeah! <laughs> Get out of there. Regina's dead. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, no. That's wait, wait, wait. Let stink. me see if I can wake her up. I'll just feed her a little bit of my moodoos. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It's magic. This is hard to watch. Okay, so, so Chucky is squeezing his forehead. <laughs> oh, sploosh. Oh, no. Sploosh. And it's dripping into Regina's mouth. It's such a thick stream. Uh, uh, I want to be where the people are. <laughs> I want to be back down on earth. Heaven's not all that it's cracked up to be. Gary Marshall sent me back to earth. <laughs> so, Regina, you're back. Uh huh? What? <laughs> 
You're, you're back. Welcome oh, back. Hey. You were dead. That was Whoa. your close one. I don't feel so good. Uh, yeah, that could be because you drank a half gallon of Moodoo's right from the tap. <laughs> what mood hey, was it? Literally from off the, the dome. Mouth. <laughs> what mood was it? Uh, it was happy as a clam. Oh, How do you feel? Good. I feel pretty happy, baby. Uh, hey, nice. I, I saw someone up there you'll really miss. Uh, Gary Marshall? Yeah. <laughs> or was it Alan Thicke? Oh, I don't know. It, no, it wasn't Alan Thicke. Uh, I heard Alan Thicke singing a theme song up there, though. Oh, really? Well, mm-hmm. which one? Show me that smile. Ooh, show me that smile. Don't, don't waste, waste another, another minute, minute on your side. side. Oh, We're the way way. Oh my god, his oh, nose is bleeding. Oh, wait, what's happening? What's happening? Do, 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 do. Chucky Spliff, his nose is bleeding. <laughs> Chucky, are you alright? <laughs> oh, Chucky he just, just squatted had to fart. so hard he rose up in the air. Well, Chucky still hasn't found the bathroom. <laughs> Just let it out, babe. Oh, oh, my God. Maybe I will. Hey, are you guys my family now? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, you I mean, just watched me die. Have you done 23 and me to find your family? No, 23 and who? <laughs> it's just 10 <laughs> trivia questions, and then they tell you who your family oh, is. Oh, what are the trivias? Um, who is your favorite? Uh, Chappelle. Uh, Dave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 can, you you choose, ever, can you choose David La at that moment as well? <laughs> yes, those can, are those two are choices. choices. He David directed the movie David. Rise, <laughs> a movie about crop dancing on the island of South Central Los Angeles. <laughs> Crop dancing. Again, that Crop was dusting. back when <laughs> South Central Los Angeles was not connected to the mainland. Anyway, I'll tell you the ten. After the OJ later. trial, I believe they seceded. And That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, guys, we need to, uh, Chucky. Uh, we could be your family, much like Toretto has a family of a uh, loose assembly of yeah. random people that have nothing in common. But I would uh, love that. Uh, but we do need to get on to our uh, the next part of our family. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. He, he's he's been on this show for a, a few years now, and obviously family. with the eighth anniversary show uh it's important to have old friends back and uh he uh he's um uh, he's around as old as you bone queef 67 somewhere in there uh, mm, that's a bad motherfucking age uh although I, I think his age kind of is hard to ascertain because of the five years or six years i can't remember that he fall. was passed away four years it was only away? fall <laughs> you, you woke back up in 1984 was it i wasn't really waking up as so much as just getting out of being dead <laughs> right yes john lennon is back hello, hello. john i missed the name Bone Queef. Yes, that's right. It's Bone Queef. Bone like, ooh, I elbowed a motherfucker in the face and my uh, funny bone is tingling and queef like a pussy fart. Queef like a pussy fart. That's that one I got. <laughs> hey, hey, I have a question. It's me, Chucky Spliff. Are you a taco? <laughs> Am I a taco? I, I, you know, I don't need to answer that. Hey, answer I, the I've, question. Hey. I've answered that question too many times. On my way here today. <laughs> I had a few odd run-ins. You say, like, okay, the information's out there. Google it if you want to know. You You should know by now. Either look at me or Google it. Hey, John Lennon, another singer. Yeah, this is Regina Crampo. Another singer who came back from the dead. (laughs) Hey, that's my new claim to fame. Oh, you were dead, too. Recently passed, now I'm back. Like a minute ago. (laughs) Scott, Scott, I love meeting all your friends. Hot air. Yeah, well, it's it's, uh, great to have you here. Some of us, you know. So I do know Obviously you. Gino's yeah, here. Gino, right. <laughs> and Chief right over here. Greeting, Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoe John Lennon. Yes. Born on the island of Liverpool. <laughs> in the green grays. So he's got my Wikipedia page over. <laughs> Sing uh, us a song. Sure. Well, I'm not a taco anymore. <laughs> I've never been one. Hey. Before. No, Before. like one of your hits. Oh, but if I could be. that One of my hits? Yeah. Yeah, that is one hit. <laughs> Wait, that's a whistling Pete. That's song? a soon-to-be hit if I get the whistling Pete album off the ground. <laughs> yeah, we really need you to get. Oh, I, I want to talk about my indie go-go if I could. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> By the way, I see you didn't bring uh, a guitar again. No, so, I, no, but I brought the muffins. Oh, thank yeah, you. Happy eighth show. Is this the eighth episode? No, it's the eighth anniversary. <laughs> oh, well, happy for you. <laughs> You've been on more than eight. Is that so? <laughs> you lose track after a while. You do. I they think bleed you into each other. You're hey, John Leonard, I got a question to ask you. Sure. Are you wearing a Ron Paul? shirt <laughs> it's the only one that fit <laughs> i've got so many shirts at home that don't fit and i was running out did you used to be a different size or something <laughs> yeah i like to wear on, on saturdays i like to wear ones that go past my knees <laughs> like a ghost like a dress. 90 or what, like, like a, a nice or screw <laughs> a ghost right. dress 
I wear one to bed that goes to my feet, and then I wake up and put one on that goes to my knees. And for dinner, I wear one that goes to my collarbone. You have a so different he, outfit for dinner? So it's just from your shoulders to your collarbone? <laughs> That's right. It's a tube top goes Like a dicky? <laughs> but it goes much. I think we talked about this in the last show I was on. It's like a romper Sorry. with no just, pride. No, not specifically. I think it was shorts we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, shorts. Okay. The, your, your theory is the higher the waistband of the shorts, <laughs> right. that makes the shorts shorter. Right, you keep pulling them up and up. That's right. A dicky. Invented by Green Bay Packers quarterback Lynn Dickey from the island of Green Bay. <laughs> Do you? Can we talk? an island with you. Yeah, so do you think island. everything is an island? <laughs> so many everything is an island when you're alone, Scott Gumshoe. You are not alone. I am your goddamn sister. Acknowledge me. Who is this person? <laughs> That's Bone Queef. That's right. You're not going to forget that name. You can't. Uh, talk about your Indiegogo. I'm what? actually from an island. Which one? Oh, a very long one. Is it is it shorter though when it stands up? It's shorter if you look at it from uh, the North Shore to South Shore, mm-hmm. but it's longer if you're looking towards Orient Point or Montauk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you Orient for that. Orient Point. It Every is. hour on the hour. <laughs> that reference is for eleven listeners commuting into the city well, for their advertising job. John, tell us about your Indiegogo. Well, you know, I need to. Ha- I need some help setting it up. What What can I do to help you? <laughs> Oh, meaning you need help setting up the Indiegogo. I need someone to punch the keys. I thought when he asked you to tell uh, me about your Indiegogo was help setting it up. Yeah, right. He said, I want to talk about my Indiegogo. Right, any listener out I there who wants to help me. I thought it was an existing thing. <laughs> so no, at this point, yet. you just have an idea and you need money. <laughs> Did we talk about your Indiegogo? What, what is it about? It's about getting Whistling Pete off the ground. Oh, okay, yeah. But, you know, it takes a long time to, to get you know log on to in the internet. Uh, not really. It takes a millisecond, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not the way I do it. How come, uh, what are you, Jack Braff? Why are you asking for money from the people? Why uh, are you, uh, yeah, you're speaking, John Lennon. Speaking of a Scrubs-themed restaurant. <laughs> I don't want no Scrubs with their Indiegogos and Kickstarters when they already got money. Okay, then we're going to run into a lot of problems here. <laughs> you're, you're one of the most successful musicians of all time. Thank Why you very you? much. Okay. You know, it takes a lot to pull that out of you sometimes. <laughs> okay, I, was, I didn't, didn't realize you were fishing, but you caught something. That's half the reason I'm making this album. Just for you to give me a smile. But, but Will you I'm buy try- it? What Show I, me what that I'm trying to smile. Say is that, Show that is, me that smile. That is translated into financial success. Show you should be very well off. Well, I don't. You don't. You know. You don't become a millionaire by giving your money away <laughs> to make your own album. Do you guys know the theme song to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Sure. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? La, 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 la. <laughs> Thanks, Chucky, for that. Hey, yo. You, I'm here all week. Chucky, do you know any songs? Yeah. Which ones do you know? I know baloney. <laughs> Let's hear a little baloney. <laughs> Blah, 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 the baloney singing the song. Baloney's the point of view of the baloney. The album and the song title. Yeah, right. Well, like general public. Um. So, John, what else has been going on with you? Did you make the drive over? Uh, yeah, I made the... Wait, well, what's I, the... Oh, the Indie Go-Go is Whistling Pete. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. so you need someone, a listener out there to volunteer. To just make the page for me and raise the money and send the money to me. <laughs> <laughs> so everything. Do everything. Write a song if you want. Someone what about like an angel like... investor? What? Someone who maybe wants to give you the money instead of uh, from various people. I don't care where the money comes from. <laughs> if anyone out there wants to give it me ju- all the money. It just can't be your... What about Yoko? I'd, I'd rather not talk to her. <laughs> She's out there. I know she's out there, and she knows I'm wearing her a hat. And she's got Hooray. a lot. Of, she's got a lot of your money. Yeah, well, I, I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, only way to get it back is to go talk to her. <laughs> I don't want to do that, Scott. I'm making it very clear. I don't want to talk to my old wife. Okay, hey, John, John Lennon. <laughs> yes, I think you should consider this an intervention. You mm. need to talk to Yoko Ono. Is that what this is all about? Yeah, yeah we, a, you bring me, you, you drag me out of my bed. It actually is our eighth anniversary, but uh, it's doubling as an intervention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's why we got all your closest friends. That's right, <laughs> Bone Queef. That's right, <laughs> Chucky <laughs> Spliff. I, I don't know who I am. <laughs> I consider these two to be very close to me, having just met them. I can help you find Yoko Ono. 
You've been looking for one person for 50 years and ain't found that motherfucker. (laughs) And a person who's wearing red, you know, the brightest color we know. Yeah. Have you ever considered looking after that little girl in Schindler's List? That's if you don't know yellow and orange, red will be one of the brightest if if you don't know the other ones, the brighter ones. Well, you know, neon colors, you know, does that even factor in? Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's That's a good question, John. I know. Do we have a color specialist out there who can answer that? I'm sorry. It's oh, African taking- American specialist now. Oh, I know okay. you're from a different- I see what you're doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So yeah, you it's know, an intervention. We we really oh. think you need to go back to Yoko. I mean, it, it uh, you know it's been it's been too long. Okay. Well, if everyone wants to raise a point of why I should. That'd yeah. Be let's great. let's read our letters. Uh, Regina, yeah. I see you unfolding yours. <laughs> yes, here I go. It's very tiny. I wrote it on a on a novelty sized piece of paper. <laughs> it looks like. Peanut, oh, though. yeah, one of those joke pieces of paper. <laughs> it's a regular size paper for Peanut. Get a the Jersey Boardwalk. <laughs> yeah, Peanut would like it, but he's in the duffel bag. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear the letter. Dear John, I'm writing to ask you to please stop not finding your wife. It's killing all of us. It's killing me from the inside out. And guess what? I've already been dead once today. <laughs> hey, P.S. We once had laughs from coast to coast <laughs> to make us smile. The real life, look at each of you that captured all our style. It was the red, it was the white, it was the blue. It was the funny things we do. America, America, this was you. Wow, you can get through it it in letter form. If she writes, if she just says it and changes the tense, (laughs) then she can get through it no problem. Okay, interesting. That took a different, that took a Uh, turn I wasn't expecting. I'd like to go next. Please. Look at your letter, it's written on a grain of sand. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) I had it done on the boardwalk. (laughs) Oh, wait, that's the Lord's Prayer. Let me flip it over. <laughs> I want to hear that, too, though. John, yeah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. I got it. I got it, Gino. From the island of heaven. Okay. John Lennon. Your behavior in not fighting your wife has hurt me in the following ways. There creates a lot of tension here in the podcast. Uh, it, it is demoralizing to everyone, especially me, because I have to make cakes under a very limited uh, time budget, and uh, I can't do it because I'm thinking about you not giving her hat back. Please, I beg of you, uh, 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 if you still want me in your life, you have to go uh, and, and reunite with your wife, Yoko Ono, the end, cake boss. I did realize I was hurting you. Well, my selfishness is uh, wanting to keep this beret on my head most times. You're not even wearing the beret. <laughs> I got a thought. Scott. You've never worn the beret. Any well, time you know, I, you keep wearing the beret, it's going to wear right through. <laughs> but it's a scarf. Yeah, Bonquif, let you me have... uh, let me unfurl my letter. Dear T- turn John. his levels up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a scroll. Dear John, <laughs> yes, yeah, that's it's the old piece of parchment. Thanks. Listen, some might say that you You're have. Welcome. A bone to pick with Yoko Ono and queef like a pussy fart. (laughs) But you don't. You got to find your family. Family is important, okay? Just take this 23andMe quiz and you will find out if she is still your family. Do you have the quiz listed there? I do, yeah. The first question is, who is your favorite favorite Chappelle? Chappelle? (laughs) The second question. Yeah, who is it for you? uh, David Law. David Law. The second question, who is your favorite Murphy? Ooh, Law. (laughs) <laughs> law Murphy, great. Okay, we are well Murphy's, on our Murphy's way. Law, I no, I think no, it's Law Murphy. Law, no, it's Law, law Murphy. Murphy. It's someone I knew. Uh, he was a subway car conductor. Great. Oh. We are well on our way to finding out. He was one of the guys owner. who led a little orchestra on a subway? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, it was a tidy orchestra. It was mice. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a letter I'd like to read. Okay, yeah, Chuck. Chucky. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky quiz later. Chucky Spliff, go ahead. <laughs> All right, you oozing. F- uh, what color is this? <laughs> it's aqua. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, <laughs> let me get my letter out here. Okay. Hey, by the way, if you have a letter to read and you say you want to read it, please have the letter out. When you- <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Wasting valuable airtime. All right, here we go. Chuck, you're holding a pair of boxer briefs <laughs> <laughs> that Dear you were John. just wearing. Yeah, that hey pink. <laughs> you wrote it in shit. <laughs> Crispy calamari, seven ninety five. Side you have a, salad. Oops. You have a menu on your boxer briefs. <laughs> <laughs> Written in shit. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I'm doing too good. <laughs> okay, look, we need the to food at that restaurant. Better be very good. We, we That's need, a pretty good deal for crispy calamari. <laughs> we need to take a break. Uh, John, will you consider it after the show? Consider taking the break. No, consider going back to Yoko. 
<laughs> I'll consider anything. I would love you to bring her here sometime. Oh, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. <laughs> Ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more of the eighth anniversary of Comedy Bang Bang. Can everyone stick around? Everyone good? Yeah. I got literally yeah. nowhere else to pass. I'm yeah. lost. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more after this. Cue break, action break. <laughs> Hi, I'm best-smelling author and unaccredited love and marriage expert, Maribel May. It's 1963. Do you know where your husband is? Let me put the spark back in your marriage with my audio lecture series, The Complete Woman. Take your marriage from boring to soaring in a few stupid steps, guaranteed to work, or your husband's money back. The Complete Woman is available now on Earwolf. Find it on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to your shows. And if you just can't get enough, you can find the Complete Complete Woman series, including Complete Joy and The Complete Man, at stitcherpremium.com slash complete. Oh, my veal balls are ready. Toodaloo! Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, look, I don't need to reintroduce everyone who's here, but we got uh, Gino, we got John Lennon, drums, <laughs> Kick Boss, Kick Boss, and uh, Regina Crimp, Chucky Spliff, Bone yeah. Queef, Chief. <laughs> Uh, and of course, it's time to get to our next guest. And she's been on the show uh, once before uh, in our Austin shows, which are, of course, behind the paywall. Ah! <laughs> um, Thanks for going off mic and into my ear. <laughs> <laughs> As he screamed, Scott fought it so hard he jumped up in his chair. Yeah, I did. Chuggy. Hey, I thought that was just me who could do that. Is that your catchphrase? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she is, of course, an acrobat, uh, and uh, she has bird bones. Of course, an acrobat. Uh, please welcome back Dagmar the Small. <laughs> oh, look at that. Whoa. 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 Hello, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. How did that happen? I mean, I... Well, lots of training, Scott. <laughs> My goodness, you're so small. I forget how small you are. I am four nine and a half. Not freakishly small, just small enough for a name. What are you when you're laying down? <laughs> uh... Well, uh, let's see, I think I'm th four inches high. <laughs> oh, wow, so you go the other way. <laughs> we should get Peanut out here. You're like the I'm opposite here. of Peanut. Oh. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Going back in the back? <laughs> Dagmar. I got to hand it to Peanut. He keeps trying, but then. <laughs> Not enough energy. To stick. <laughs> he can't make it stay. <laughs> Dagmar, where are you an acrobat? Uh, I'm uh, from uh, Slovenia. Right. But I'm an acrobat anywhere I can be. Oh, thank you. Holy shit, right in and out of the air conditioning vent like that. <laughs> yes, I could be used for heists, but I say no because I hate trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything in there like a no country for old men situation? In the air conditioning vent? <laughs> uh, just a note that said, if you read this, I'm already dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. From uh -oh. Signed who? Paul Shear. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. R.I.P. Paul Shear. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. It's so Also good. born on January 31st. Really? Yeah. Much like JT? <laughs> Much like Timberlake. I hope when I die, you just say, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to get that. <laughs> the oh well treatment after you pass away from Who's me. Who's this guy speaking at Gino's funeral? His boss. He's <laughs> oh, uh, well. Dagmar the Small. Do you prefer to be called Dagmar the Small or Dagmar or DG? I prefer to be called anything where you give me eye contact. I am very grateful. Oh, I'm giving you major Thank eye contact. Thank you. You can call point. me whatever. Okay, yeah. Do people not give you eye contact because you're so small? I'm small. I'm often on the wind. And so... <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What does that mean on the wind? Well, I have um, I have very hollow bones, and uh, when I fill my... Oh, goodness, no! Uh... She's in hey, the whoa. vent again. She's floating. That's some sort of fly around my face. No, please, uh, it it's is me. Bar, the small. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey. Hi, he, hi, he, hi, he. Oh, wow. That's I your laugh. Those are the breaths that come back down, sort of like the burpings in, uh, in Willy Wonka. Yes. Yeah. Hey, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very sorry. I'm very. I will not say what scene. <laughs> Thank God. If it's not the first scene, I've seen the first scene. It's the I scene where they're drinking the soda. No, pop stop. And the grandpa. There's soda in that movie. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of it. Is there soda in the book? Yeah. Jeez, now I'm not going to watch or read either. 
Dagmar. You hate soda. Do people get confused on your name? Have you considered an analogy? Oh. This is Bone Queef, by the way. Oh, hello. Thank hello, you. Hello, I am Bone Queef. Bone like T-Bone, a particular configuration of a traffic accident, and queef like a pussy fart. Oh, boy, the, that the is a type of traffic accident. The same. Um, uh, what do you mean, like, uh, dag, like, dag? I am very disappointed. And mar, like a word for the sea. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and queef like a pussy fart. Or dag, like David Allen Greer's nickname. Oh, sure. Uh, dag, the TV like, show that he started. Great TV show. Great with a, TV with show. A, a great crew of actors. A sandwich is prefix. <laughs> what Dag is that? Hey, thanks, like for thanks for giving me the floor there, everyone. <laughs> yeah, <thank laughs> I'm sorry, can you... Uh, it was worth it. <laughs> it was totally worth it. Can you please unpack that for me? I'm so eager to learn. So there's a type of sandwich called the Dagwood, named for the Blondie comics. Oh, and, very uh, interesting. Yeah, and it's got a bread slice in the middle, so I thought you could use that for your analogy, but... The bit has run its course. No, please, Gino. I would love Bring more details. <laughs> Dagwood, around. named after the beautiful township of Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Don't under. I do not follow that at all. <laughs> there's yeah, there's the a the town in Ohio, Ohio. <laughs> the beautiful island township <laughs> of Dagwood, Ohio. Population sixty one thousand nine hundred thirty two, <laughs> and none of them are common San Diego. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Have you seen Carmen Sandiego in your travels? Well, oh. you know where she is. I do, but I'm curious if you've seen her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I saw her once when I was in a uh, performing on a street corner in a festival mart in um, in uh, Stockholm, and uh, she was there for a moment, and then pff, she was gone, and she swirled her trench coat so fast I flew into the oh. air. You see Stock- how fast she is? <laughs> yeah, she's. You fast. see how fast she Stockholm is. Stockholm is right next to the fictional city Earwolf, Sweden, where I am a queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see? Did she have breasts, by the way, or? Just translucent yeah, what's holes. The, what's the tit situation on Comet? Oh, Are boy. Are two little globes? Uh, well, uh, as you know, I am at her breast height, so Ooh, I got yeah, a... Do. I got Breast <laughs> height is the best height. <laughs> hey, That's thank where that expression you. comes from. Is that a song that you uh, are singing? Breast height is the best height. I don't want to grow any taller. I want to be titty height. And I put a... <laughs> what was that last word? Is that a butthole? Poodle? And a puddle? And a poodle. Oh, a puddle. I think it's and like... I put them in my mouth. Oh. oh, I see. Oh. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Chucky, I'm Chucky. Married. <laughs> what? I'm married. Yeah. Congratulations. You're Thanks. married, Chucky? To whom? Did you just remember? Sylvie? <laughs> You're my wife, Sylvie Spliff. <laughs> yeah. Sil- Silver Spliff? Sylvie Spliff. Sylvie, sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's all I had to say. So, okay, so you just remembered that? That's good. You're yeah. making progress. Sylvie. Is that short for Sylvania? Like the island of Sylvania car batteries? Yo, the island of Sylvania. Where is that? Off the coast of Sylvania. Are you saying Slovenia? Slovenia. That is where I'm from. Yes. Are you, is is there an ale there or no ale? No ale. Do you have, like, not like the Christmas carol, no L, no L, but is there an L in the word you're saying? Yes, Sylvania. Oh, no, but where is it? The island. Oh. It's off the coast Not of the, the L in island, the L in Slovenia. The island, the I-S-L-A-N-E. I know you're saying that L, but what about the L in Slovenia, my home country? Yes, uh, that is where Sylvania, the no. island of car batteries is. Oh. Exactly, Dagmar. Oh, we are talking about... Solved it, gumshoe. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, I want to just backtrack for a million miles ago when we were talking about uh, Carmen's breasts. Yeah, they, did you see them? I did see them. They are there, and they are a, a healthy C cup. But I told you. the best. If you That's turn to the anything the smaller is unhealthy. <laughs> <It's> disgusting. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I have a double A cup, much like the battery, and uh, it helps me fly into the air. But um, she does have them when they turn to the side; they disappear. Appear. They do. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Magic titties. So yes. they're like two dimensional. They're like uh, yes, l- they... lenticular. A healthy C <laughs> cup, like Chief. <laughs> Wait, your own breast? She breast? Stag- Wait, no. Chief is C. C starts with Chief. Sounds like you <laughs> might need an analogy to explain Gino, it. Gino. My name is an acronym. <laughs> Much like time, her tits are a flat circle. Oh. Wow, that- from the side. Sorry, Chief. Your name is an acronym, so the C is for C cup. Yes. And then what's the rest for? H is for a hooligan. <laughs> C-cup I hooligan. is for I will find Carmen San Diego one day. <laughs> e is for enough 
gum shoe. I don't want any more adults. I only want preteens to find Whoa. Carmen San Diego. Who's mm-hmm. grossed out by That's that? That's the E. <laughs> Me, Chucky. Where's the L? <laughs> There's no L in Chief. Spell what about chief? the F? Chief. <laughs> What's the F? <laughs> What's the F? What's the F? The F is for forget it, gum shoe. We are here. Now, in the present. I see. What's the same gynecologist for? I don't, I don't take on that day. <laughs> Look, uh, by the way, do you know Dagmar is not a preteen, just a very small gymnast? Oh, yes, thank well, that's you. Good How news. old are you, that Dagmar? That is very good I'm news. 24. Oh, oh, that's that's perfect. perfect. Yes, I am too old to be a gymnast, but still young enough to matter. <laughs> Uh, are you are you in a relationship or? A- uh, no, I have a man pole. He is just the man who is my partner, who is a pole that I can climb to be a flag. Actually, Gino, can you stand, please? He, he uh, looks a lot like a man pole. Yes, he yes. is a boy pole. I'm a little boy pole. You guys met before, yes. right? Yes, we've met before down in Austin. Down in That's Austin, right. Yeah. I made a flag on your body. But do you want to see the new trick? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Hold on. Let me get into place here. <laughs> Uh, all right. Stand roll, very so still. Rigid. Roll rigid. standing. Roll standing very rigid. footage. And roll audio. standing footage. <laughs> so he's not really going to do it? <laughs> hey, how did you stand without an escort? <laughs> you just, I don't know, unbend your legs. Straighten them, if you will. Oh. Roll that beautiful stand footage. <laughs> all right, let's see this trick. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <gasps> you jumped up his butt. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Holy queen, shit. I have jumped up his butt. Whoa. Whoa. And I am, in, whoa. I am inflating him from within. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's almost like you're puppeteering I Gino. W- I don't want to say this, but it's sort of like a scene in Willy Wonka. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't, I'm sorry. Don't you I'm even sorry. think about it. I'm sorry, but this is a lot like Veruca Salt, not the band. Oh. Gino looks like one of those uh, things outside the car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Can you please ones. get out of my butthole? The male G-spot is real. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you want him to get out? Because uh, I didn't want this to happen. I said I can't come at work anymore. Ew. Anymore? He's coming. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's mood come. <laughs> what color is it? What color is it? Well, pearl means I'm horny. <laughs> why are you horny if you well, came? it's black. So what does black mean? <laughs> no, it's yeah, black. Should you be coming black talk? <laughs> oh, God. I think you I'm be- in mourning and I'm severely dehydrated. I think you need to go to the doctor. I've never seen this happen before. Oh, I've seen it happen a number of times. I've thrown out tar-filled paper towels every afternoon. Oh, my God. <laughs> every afternoon. Oh, gosh. That is horrible. Dagmar, you really should ask permission before you do a trick like yes, that. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, mostly because you ripped through my cargo shorts. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, I have a tiny uh, tiny sewing kit. Please hand over those cargos. Okay, okay sure. I just want There's a note up. written on <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, it's it's a clue. <laughs> now, this is a note for uh, Yoko John, to uh, read to John. I wrote uh, on the back of my cargo shorts. I, okay. yeah, I know what kind of Let's hear it, I guess. In Black Tar Cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did dip uh, a feather into Black Tar Cum and write this out here. So, uh, here we go. Um, and rolling. Bottle of red. <laughs> bottle of white. <laughs> Why don't you give your wife, Yoko, a call tonight? Scenes. From an Italian restaurant. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Love Gino Lombardo. Oh, thank you very oh. much. <laughs> wow. Uh, does that does that make you think you might go back? It makes or? me think. Yeah, that that sort of hits home. Dagmar, did you bring a note? I know I asked everyone to. Oh. I think Dagmar needs to take a shower before anything. <laughs> <laughs> John, no, I went through his mouth and out through his butthole, then back up through his mouth. So okay. I've already been washed by his clean esophagus. Wait a minute. All you brought my butthole Gino's stuff mouth. out my mouth? Oh, shit. I'm completely backwashed, is what you're saying. Yes, this I'm sorry. This is bad news. This is bad. Do you want me to pass you a glass of water? Uh, I, I'm in charge of waters here. I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, back off. I'm back sorry. Off we have different yeah. rules about man polling. Once people say, yes, I will be your man or boy poll, it is very much open season. Are I'm- you so tired of people on subway? Man polling, where they just kind of stand up next to a stand pole, up next to a pole, and spread and eagle. Yeah, you and man polling, to man polling to her. Oh. I'm man polling, man polling to you, which is unfair. Yeah, that's that is making me feel smaller than I am already. Um, but no, I do never use public transportation because I can just inflate myself and float. Oh, okay, like a peregrine falcon. I yeah. wanted to that's ask, right. do you ever ride on a leaf? Oh, <laughs> good question, John. Well, the you. second you walked in, I said, I don't know who this person is, but I got to ask about the leaf. <laughs> you know, I am yet too big to ride on a singular leaf, but I have before put one feet foot on each leaf and a hand on a leaf. Four leaves is enough for me to fly, much like the falcon you were mentioning, Gino. <laughs> one just, leaf wow. on each, uh, two 
Four leaves total. Four leaves total. That's four a good leaves. luck clover if you have four hey, leaves. Hey, you're very right. Thank you, Scott. Mm. Magma, did you ever think about doing a routine where you uh, you imitate the plastic bag scene from American Beauty? Oh, yes. It is one of my number one requests when I do encores <laughs> at my acrobat shows. Cake Boss, would you like Cake to boss. reenact this? Uh, you, you can be that actor that we never heard from again, the guy. <laughs> Who? Burn. Unnecessary burn. Is that a Jonathan Rees Myers burn? Is, is that, that, that wasn't him. No. no I don't know. That's the thing. He looked like every other actor. What he, movie are we talking about? The guy with about? the American Nick Beauty. Beauty. <laughs> He's like a Devon Sawa, but not the Devon Sawa. <laughs> I like American Beauty because it has a couple of my favorite scenes in it, like lifting weights, smoking weed, kissing dudes. That's like my, the three best things. <laughs> That's you all you like to do all day, That's like three of my day. favorite things. I'm trying to get fucking brolic, trying to get my lips touched to another man's lips, and I like a little reef every now His and then. His name was Kevin Spacey. <laughs> oh, okay. Not the person I'm thinking of, but... Although, also, I have not heard back from Kevin Spacey in a long time. Yeah. Did you try to contact him? Uh, yes, I have left him many notes. Mm, he's been busy with uh, House of Cards. Oh, yes, because I thought he lived in a House of Cards, and I thought, I know what it's like to blow away. <laughs> sure, yeah, you're that small. That's you what I New Jersey! That mod did not have a nice New Jersey? What, what's this, Chucky? Huh? <laughs> New Jersey? Is that where you live? Yeah. New Jersey? <laughs> oh, that's where I'm from. Chuck, you're from New Jersey? Where in New Jersey? Uh, I don't know. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Still, it's a start. Yeah. Hey, my life's coming back to me in, in flashes and images and words. Wow. 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 Are you wow. about to die? Uh... I hope not. Is your life flashing before your eyes? <laughs> where, where, where did this heart monitor come from? Oh no, look, she's scribbling on the table. He's scribbling on the table. If you're reading this, I'm already dead. Uh, uh -oh. oh, I'm headed out of here. <laughs> Oh no! Scoop up some of her moodoos. Oh. His, I mean his. He's, Holy crap! This I'm is the boy. this is the second. Oh, never mind. I no. thought it was the second death we no, saw. No, no, yeah, I'm, no, dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm uh. dead. Oh wait, but maybe maybe he is coming back. Is he some sort of human phoenix and he's returning to a boy form? <laughs> the phoenix saw that. From the mid '80s X Men. <laughs> it's more like mid '90s. Or just a mythological creature. I feel like we might need Peanut to help us out. Okay. <laughs> Peanut. I'm a doctor right now. <laughs> Don't you always put, put your CD oh. on your forehead? <laughs> Oh, mm. that was the sweetest kiss I ever got. Even sweeter than any kiss I ever got from Sylvie, my wife. <laughs> uh. My wife, my wife. My wife to you. <laughs> my wife to you. My well, wife. And my wife to everyone happy? here. <laughs> Eight years of my wife. My wife to us all. <laughs> I feel better. You're better. Good. Hey. Who are you people? <laughs> oh, no. We're back oh, to square one. We do not have time for this, Chucky. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, look, we need to take a break. Uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to have uh, some more. Can you believe some more guests, if you can believe it? We'll be right back. Hey, can everyone stick around? Uh, of course. Oh, oh boy. Uh, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Gethard, and I'm the host of a show called In Your Dreams. I had a dream that I was in my basement, and I very enthusiastically cut off my left hand. Alongside my very good friend and dream analyst, Gary Richardson. This was a show where we started off, we said we are going to analyze dreams. We said people could call in, let us know about their dreams, and we'd break them down. When I do have dreams, um, I call them like reality mares. That dream made me want to throw up. <laughs> that was <laughs> disgusting. But I'll say, pretty much right out of the gate, things got a little crazy. What are we doing? What the hell is this? You're gonna put a fucking mattress ahead of our friendship? Find out what went down. Walk into the heart of darkness with us. It's like my personal apocalypse now. Listen to In Your Dreams, very kindly presented by the folks at Casper. It's only on Earwolf. It's one of the things I'm most proud of. Comedically, I think it's uh, pretty strange, pretty funny, and I think you will enjoy it. Thanks so much. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, uh, Regina had to take off as well, and, and she, she went arm in arm with Chucky Spliff, who doesn't remember that he has a wife, I guess. I think they have a good affair. I think they might be. I mean, they were it, escorted to standing position and then escorted if out. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I'm almost at standing position now, baby. Uh, <laughs> All right, put it away. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I took it out. Dagmar the Small is here. Hello, uh, thank just you. Just been wisping around. Just uh, Yes, should I come back down? <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, thank you. Back, uh, escorting yourself back to the seated position. <laughs> ah, there you are. Of course, we have Bone Queef over here. What's up? I'm Bone Queef. Bone like my ass is thick because I'm big bone and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Bone Chief. 
Don't call me that dumb shoe. Don't it is just chief. Just chief. Sorry. I will not be associated with this ding bat sting whistle. <laughs> oh. You're my sister. I'm not a sting whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Of course, uh, Gino Lombardo. Hey, how's it going, America? It's me, Gino Lombardo. I'm an intern here at uh, Earwolf. I work. Yeah, we don't need back. your whole story. That wasn't a, okay. Also, we have uh, John Lennon. Hello. Lennon. <laughs> John, John Lennon. Lennon, though. It's, confu- oh, yeah, it's confusing because he's in head to toe. He changed. He's been a ghost Why don't you make a line of bed sheets? I, you know, this is just coming also, to me. Also, you're I'll in switch. your white suit. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I'll switch the Indigo, Indigo to go to. So just John Lennon's? It's just making up linens. I mm-hmm. want to start a linen company. Yeah. Everyone uh, has a bed. The Cake Boss is here as well. Cake boss. I'm also here. Good, I'm also here. Um, and uh, we have a couple of guests that we've never spoken to before. That's always exciting. This is the show where we talk to interesting people. And uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Scott. Uh, and Thanks, they are Scott. a married couple. I'm not sure where they're from, but uh, well, I am from Panama, but right now we we live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, North so. Carolina. You're from North Carolina. Then? I was born and raised in Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> My name is Bert Riley, and I'm Rauro Riley, and I'm from Panama City. So uh, the she, Rileys, please she, welcome the Rileys. She took my last name. You're I'm from, very traditional. You're from Raleigh, uh, yeah, I'm from but Raleigh. your name is Riley. I, Rauro Riley from Raleigh. I never thought about that until now. <laughs> really? Yeah, I never thought about it. Because really, I grew up in the Triangle, uh, Durham, <laughs> Chapel Hill, Raleigh area. The beautiful <laughs> islands. can barely understand this guy with his <laughs> thick southern accent. <laughs> Yeah, my gosh, it's very difficult to understand. Well, I was born on North Carolina State's campus, so I didn't really have like a specific <laughs> Southern accent. Oh yeah, because I, I was surrounded by so many North Carolina academic elites. Are your parents? <laughs> yeah, are your parents from uh, Illinois, yeah. perhaps, or? <laughs> No, i never been there. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. We I, don't go to the middle of the country. Oh, okay, the flyover states. Yeah. We are worried about what could happen to you there. I mean, yeah. you can fly over North Carolina if, if you dare. <laughs> Do you? Giving you any, any ideas, Dagmar? <laughs> yeah. Do you there? Oh, yes, I would very much like to fly over, and then maybe I could fly down so close I could say hello to the, <laughs> the academic elite. <laughs> Yeah, my husband is very elitist, but um, he's also very smart, so, you know, he's okay. Right, Bay? You're very smart, this so you're the, allowed to be elitist. This is the best we've ever gotten along. We came here for counseling because we've been at each other's throats. Wait, did you think we do couples counseling here? I know America? that you do, Scott. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I heard it happen. It's just nonstop talking about problems. I get it. You're right about you, that. You get a bunch of damaged people in here, and then you sit there and you stammer and try to figure out what they're talking okay, about. I don't know that you need to. Hey, really. yeah, that's a put down to the rest of us. <laughs> God damn. Uh, mm, the only thing that's true about our this, this guy's fucking stammering. That's for oh, sure. Oh no! Don't Scott, need to insult my You are a very stammering. good mediator. I think you should take this compliment. You are very thank, good. Thank at you, balance. Dagmar. Yes. I like having you on the show. Best of all. Yes, it was a compliment. <laughs> oh, all right. well, pardon me all to hell. <laughs> pardon cake me boss at the beautiful island cake of hell. <laughs> cake boss, where are you from? Cake are you from Illinois too? I I'm, recognize that accent. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> All right, so everything sounds like Illinois to for, for these North Carolina ears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, <Ears>. wife, <laughs> my wife, my <laughs> wife, ears. I ears of my wife. Ears. Are of there my any wife. large uh, mammals in North Carolina? <laughs> like, you know, like big North American land mammals, like, like bears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's tons of bears there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's your? So, I was just curious. <laughs> what about when they have little babies? Baby bears? Yeah. Or, <laughs> what are they called? Cubs? <laughs> Baby uh-huh. bears. If they're aggressive, they're called bulls. And to pacify them, you put white socks on their feet. What are you th- <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Now I'm listening. You guys, you, you guys are married. How long have you been married? Uh, we've been married like 12 years. 12 years. 12 okay. years, that's yeah. A, that's a good chunk of time. Thank you so much. That's we think uh, it's like a baker's dozen, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's almost. It's, it's, uh, it is a baker's dozen. <laughs> I'd say a hungry no, baker's shot. dozen. It's, it's a baker's dozen. Forgive me. Uh, oh, it's I, not your baker's dozen. Forgive me dozen. if I bake explain to you, but a uh, baker's dozen is 13. <laughs> Why is that? That's not a dozen anymore. That's why it's called a baker's dozen. Bay, listen to me. A baker's dozen is a. Does a baker live in the same realm of universe that we all live in? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. So, island actually, of not this baker, technically. <laughs> so many Don't get her started. Everyone wanted Look. a piece of that. <laughs> well, good thing I had enough. 12, to be in fact. So let me get. Hold on. Hold on. Before we get into my wife and I's. You've been, you've been sitting there steaming this entire time. I got steam coming off the top of my head. I got steam coming out of my ears. I got oh, steam. shit. It's a couple different colors. <laughs> That's it's like, right. It's like mood, mood steam. It's mood steam. Are you sure it's steam, darling, or is it yogurt? 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's my anger segue. Here we go. I, I don't know what you're arguing she about. She doesn't. My job <laughs> brings her. Tell you. My job brings her a lot of grief and shame. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> I work for Dannon's new division of sex yogurt. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. It's disgusting. They have a new it division? is impolite to talk about. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. It is not. It is not Christian of you to talk about the sex yogurt. It, I don't like talking about I, it. I'm it, sorry. Sex yogurt. What? Uh, so it's a yogurt you mm. eat right before you have sex with your partner. Mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. So you peel the foil off. Mm-mm. And then mm. there's always that hard yogurt on the bottom of the foil. You right? know, the crusted, the yogurt roof. Yeah, And sure. then you, you lick it off, which takes a, a mm. few licks because it's so hard. And you have to, like, get a tense tongue. It's not a soft tongue situation. And then there's a sex fact on it or a suggestion, <laughs> like on top. On, on top. Yeah. You need a suggestion, suggestion to be on top. Yeah. One of the people Who is on, on top. top. Yeah. Have you tried on top? Right. <laughs> oh, we should phrase or like <laughs> We should phrase it as a question. That's great. No, no. That's even more disgusting than you're forcing them to answer. One I read the other day just said many fingers. I hate it. Many fingers. I hate it. Yeah, that was my idea. Okay. <laughs> so it's bringing me deep shame. I come from a very traditional country, you know. We met on Martyr's Day, which in Panama is the saddest day of the year. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Well, let's you should in, be. Let's get into the facts of what Martyr's Day is. Okay, yeah, let's Everybody knows Martyr's Day, right? <laughs> is, are you saying Mother's Day? Martyr's Day, no. When, you May know, 14th. Who's Martha? It's January 8th, 1964. You all don't remember. Americans don't remember because it brought Martha's, great shame. Martha's Superman and Batman's dad. <laughs> Or mom. What? Is, what? Is, Martyr's Day, <laughs> is Martyr's Day when they played White Snake to drive uh, Manuel Noriega out of his palace? You know, they might have also done that. Personally, I was with the rest of the college kids protesting the U.S. occupation of the Panama Canal, and many of us died. So we don't drink on that day anymore. I feel like we're getting way into your backstory. When I, I really just, you Sorry. know, we need, we need to talk about your, your problems here. Well, what, that's part of our when problems. Did, when did you start making the sex yogurt? Uh, about six months ago, I got oh. promoted from okay. the... Uh, what were you doing before? I was in the low-fat division. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this, that was his job. Hey, America, stay thin. Yeah, but now... <laughs> Wait, that's all you had to do is stay thin? <laughs> yeah. Stay thin for America. He teach them how. I get, are there weight restrictions when you work at a yogurt place? They don't want you to be too heavy because oh, then yeah. it would reflect poorly upon their yogurt? Oh, 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 oh goddamn. <laughs> Is it, is, that's not true. <laughs> that's a weird I reaction. Think, I I cannot tell. <laughs> wow, I cannot gauge how you feel about <laughs> I don't that. Know. I can go either way. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I think you touched on nerve scope because he used to be very heavy, and then he ate all his own low fat yogurt, which he designed. He I got see. very thin. And which, now I'm ready to have sex. Oh, oh, I see. I see. So I started my own sex division at, at Dannon. You started oh, this it. Is I thought, you, I thought you were transferred. I went and pitched it to Emily and Jason Dannon. Oh, I don't, I don't those know Those perverts. Them. They're perverts. They're, they're not Dana, perverts. They're family. They, affect, they publicly love each other. <laughs> they're perverts. They publicly love they're each other. They're brother and sister? She'll stick her tongue on the palm of his hand in the middle of a zoo. I don't know if they're brother and sister, but they publicly <laughs> love each getting other. getting serious with them. They say they're married. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> they could be brother and sister. Well, good, good on them. You know, Mrs. Riley, uh, Mrs. Riley, I'm Please so sorry. Please call me Rauro. Oh, Rauro. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it seems like to me, um, those things are not very obviously sexy. Perhaps you could just take the sexy yogurt and think these are fun ways to eat yogurt. Eat it on top of your meal. Eat oh, yeah, it exactly. with many fingers. Exactly. They don't, they're not specific to sex. Only people who know. But it's I got co- one that said put it in your butthole. Yes, so. see, that oh. one. Uh, well, I mean, it could mean like in a medical way. Yes, like it is very important. <laughs> Important. Or if you got hemorrhoids, travel, put yogurt on your butthole. Or it travels down your throat and Into ends your, up in your butthole. Yes, right. it's very important for probiotic health. Which so, is the ideal way. You don't want to go reverse uh, I am sorry. I am sorry again that I went reverse butthole yeah, in your mouth. I just mouth, spit you know. a bunch of rusty water in the <laughs> sink out here. She man-pulled him uh, in I'm her sorry, previous segment. I'm sorry. Ra- Rowl roll, rowl roll. Yes. The yogurt, the, the shex yogurt. Yes. Uh, all, all, the only thing that makes it shex yogurt is this. That makes it what? Makes it shex yogurt. Oh, okay. Is the- you guys are having a lot of trouble communicating. <laughs> I just didn't understand because your asses kind of sound like a ch. What are you talking about? Your asses, they sound like a ch. They sound like a ch. Like like ch- it's like when you say Cecilia. 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 Say slather on the sex yogurt. Slather on the sex yogurt. <laughs> okay, now I get it. So, 
Uh, my question is, how do you even know it's Shex yogurt if the, the Shex tip is hidden under the hard yogurt yeah, layer? Yeah, you don't have to lick that off. No, the front of the yogurt tin says Shex in capital letters. Oh, yeah. It comes in a tin can? It says yeah. <laughs> like a tuna tin, like a tuna tin. <laughs> yeah. I've seen those. You it's real compact. Break it open with you like a can old open it and get to that yogurt. <laughs> you shouldn't be licking those. you got to cut your tongue up. It's like, and then you'll be useless in the Bert, bedroom. But I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> what are you using your tongue for in the bedroom? You're free. Oh my god. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, you don't know that people use tongues in what? the bedroom? I, I'm, I'm, new, I'm new to sex because I used to be so heavy, which you pointed out. <laughs> sorry, sorry. At the very <laughs> least, you're using damn, it for communication. Damn. It wasn't until you stood up to adjust your microphone that we saw all the skin had dangling that you have tucked into your butt. I got a dangling skin. <laughs> Oh, this is a favorite song. <laughs> I wish Regina were here. What, what, Dagmar, you have a question? Oh, I just wanted to know, uh, is it just a tip, like, when you have a Dove chocolate and the just rapper the says, whoa, hey, yo, hey, look at us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, look sorry, finish your when you, sorry. When you have a, a Dove uh, Dove chocolate where it yeah. says, hey, you are stronger than you think, and then separately you eat the chocolate. Is it like that, or are you supposed to use the yogurt <clears throat> in the sex tip? When you say many fingers, do I use my many fingers to take the yogurt with my fingers and put it on my partner? Great yeah. question, Gumshoe. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Jesus, I thought you were asleep. <laughs> yeah, Chief, we haven't heard from you in a minute. It, that startled me. I flew into the air, to be honest. Give me one moment. Go back down. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Okay, she's back. We call that a Carolina surprise where I am from. <laughs> North Carolina. The yeah. beautiful island of North Carolina <laughs> in the grand city of Wolfpack. Someday. My fingers have been crossed for years for an earthquake that just pops it off into the Atlantic. Raro. How do you spell Raro. it, by the way? R-A-U-R-O. 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 Please answer the question. Oh, uh, because of the using your I'm fingers? I'm going to have to treat you as a hostile witness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hostile. I'm just loud. That's very rude of you. Are okay. you named after one of Scooby-Doo's sayings? <laughs> Oh, what? Scooby, what? Scooby-Doo's what? only saying. One of his old sayings. I might have been named after you know, Ruby Roo. Scooby-Doo was like, my Yogi Berra. It's like Scooby-Doo used to say. Look, you can do whatever you want with the yogurt. You're the nasty person who bought yogurt that says sex on it in hey, crude hey, letters. It just says sex. It doesn't say yogurt. Or yeah, anything. no. Yeah, 54 point font. <laughs> It's just it's a huge. tuna can it's that says sex on it. In sex Times on New Rome. Metal can. Yeah, but it's in the yogurt section. <laughs> no, nobody is going Good to boy. eat this at all. They are going to think it is purely for oh. sex. Yeah, they, okay, that's they think it's wrong, lubrication babe. or something. It's flying off the shelves. Oh, it's too hard for you. We're becoming a millionaire. It's too hard to use. We're becoming a millionaire, so and I'm so successful. embarrassed. Oh yeah, but I'm deeply, it's brought shame. I can't go home. Well, I does can't go home. Does he, say, does he say sex yogurt by Burt Riley, husband of Rotro Riley on the can? Yes. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, then yes. you should be embarrassed. You should I don't be. Be. <laughs> remember you. the names of the people that have been here for three hours. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys remember that? You guys remember that lyric, "Young and Successful," a sex symbol. <laughs> Yeah, well, what song was it from? <laughs> I don't know. We all know the lyric, but what's it from? Is that a Bone Thugs and Harmony song? <laughs> that is one of the least well, specific know, conversation starters I've ever heard. <laughs> Are you guys familiar with the lyrics and it's five words and you have no other information for a five Not even a melody. Words. That's the genuine song, right? Or, well, look at us. We're talking about it now. <laughs> Ooh, we got you. That's Young shit. Sex Shoes on the other foot. Look, we Gum just on I just need my husband to do something that doesn't bring shame on my entire family. What? And I'll, we'll take any suggestions you have. Okay. Uh, uh, Raro, yeah. let me ask you. Uh, how has this shame manifested itself? I mean, are people saying uh, crude things to you as you walk down the street? How is the what? How is this shame, shame. Uh, manifesting oh, the shame. itself? Yeah. Fame. Shame. Man shame. How is the fame? Shame. How is it? Uh, shame. <laughs> that's a, see, that's how you do it. You sing a little bit of it. <laughs> you, 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 just say it. you wrote that. <laughs> Thank you. I, I did sing a little bit of it. I remember writing that. It Young was on a number two <laughs> pencil. <laughs> a sex like, symbol. That's P. Diddy. <laughs> I'm just talking about Shane. You, you put a little more shosh on it this time, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Did I? <laughs> Last time, was very, it was very flat. Anyway, oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Headphones. I'm sorry. I fell back in my chair. Dagmar, come down for that. Oh, you're oh, the sorry. <laughs> Such bad. Come, come back down. Come back down. There are so many Carolina surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mr. Boss, the uh, difficult thing about my life is that everything is on display. When you are from Panama, every person in the country says, hey, we want to claim you as our own. So my mother has been very proud 
of our success until she discovered what it was because then the neighborhood kids started dumping yogurt all over her house. They started whitewashing her fence with yogurt. They oh took her God. palm fronds, they dipped it in yogurt, and they wrote crude things on her sprinter van. So that's how the things are flying off the shelves are protest purchases, it sounds like. They are, yeah. It's I'll a take weird it. catch-22. I'll Those take it either way. still spend, though, don't they? Why, why are the stores letting kids buy a product called <laughs> Shex yogurt? The stores need to put an 18 and over parental advisor on it. If you they ask should. Me. The rules oh, are a little wow. more relaxed, I yeah, would Lock it up there. like deodorant at a CVS. <laughs> You oh. can buy anything in Panama. Who the fuck is stealing right guards? <laughs> That's my guess. I think it's anything over like $10. Yeah, baby formula, batteries, deodorants, mm-hmm. whatnot. Condoms. Razors. KY. Wow. Warning Rolex fluids. Watches, All things been up. snatched by Carmen San Diego. <laughs> you know, he didn't tell you. He switched to trying to put real facts in it. We had this discussion before, real and I was fucks. like, oh, what? Real, real fa- fucks. Real facts real about, about sex? Fuck, sex fucks. Okay. Sex fucks. Like, what's sex one fucks. of your sex facts? Um, on the island of Nantucket. Oh, great island. Uh, anyone can have... <laughs> Chief, is just, Chief is just nodding appreciatively. <laughs> she likes this. <laughs> she likes she likes Reverend. You're, You're learning. <laughs> You're learning, Gumshoe. <laughs> Does that make sense that you like real islands? <laughs> I feel like it should be the opposite. Doesn't make sense. (laughs) Now we're concerned. (laughs) Now is the moment to really start hammering it out. I have more Martin's Day facts if anybody wants. Let's hear the sex fact, though, Ooh, first. I, in Nantucket? Yeah, so in, on the island of Nantucket... Uh, was there an interesting person there? There was an interesting person on the island of Nantucket. A male, a female. A man, a man, <laughs> oh and, and a female. <laughs> Anything interesting about this guy? Yeah, what were his physical characteristics? <laughs> he was tall. He was the tallest guy on earth. Yes, and he had brown shoes. <laughs> See, it's disgusting. <laughs> he also okay. just wrote one that said, a condom in motion will stay in motion. I don't know what that means, but it right. brought me deep shame. Yeah. Young and successful. A sex yogurt. What do you think now? <laughs> God I damn it, what do you think now? I still think what I have, I've always thought. I'm not a fan. Oh. Thank you. So I'm vindicated. Am I a hostile witness now? Do you feel better now? Thank You're you. vindicated. I'm vindicated. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think you need to apologize to Rotro. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I think you need to say Rutro. <laughs> I made a mistake. Rutro. My husband. <laughs> Rutro, I'm sorry that I brought you so much shame. Oh. I don't mean to bring you so much shame. <laughs> All right? I love you. I'm cuckolding myself here with this sex yogurt. <laughs> That's true. You are a major beta cuck. You are, are you, are you going to sit there and take that, being called a cuck by her? I like it. That, oh. That's kind of how it works. <laughs> okay. That's kind of the thing they're into. That's like, that's At the same time, Robo, big part of it. I, I think you need to apologize to <gasps> Bert over here because, um, you know, I mean, he's 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 got to spread his wings. He's got to fly. He's got a dream. You know, he came up with this all himself. I mean, that's that can't, that has to count for something. You're right, Scott. My husband, Bert Riley. <laughs> I want to tell you that me, your wife, Raul O'Reilly, I'm so proud that you are an entrepreneur. I'm so proud that you have started this business from scratch. And I want you to now stick by your side until the day we both drown in a vat of sex yogurt together. Thank you. I'm not trying to bring you shame, but to quote the villain from the movie Beautiful Girls, I'm just trying to save my family. Young and successful. Is that Rosie O'Donnell? Sex symbol. No, it's the guy who beats up Matt Dillon with his crew of frat guys. Oh, that's uh, Toby Emmerich? No, that's I don't mean to guy. interrupt oh, y'all. Oh, show shit the beautiful girls references all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, Listen, I nothing. found out who it was. Y'all curious? Don't it was quit. mystical. It was mystical? <laughs> yeah. 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 I can hear it now. Young and successful. Sex symbol. <laughs> it's on the Move Bitch remix. That's, <laughs> that's a different read, I think, than uh, we first were given by Bert. Hey, let me ask you a question. I can't believe we weren't able to pick up a mystical <laughs> lyric without context in 2017. Y'all get successful. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, uh, Riley. Uh, Which one? Raul or Bert? Both of you. Oh, thank you. The plural. Uh, you, see, you said uh, when you die, it's going to be in a vat of sex yogurt. Is this a plan? Yeah. Yep. I mean, you, you've already, even though it brings you great shame, you're willing to die in the sex yogurt. I'm a traditionalist. <laughs> Wait, this is a tradition for Martyrs Day, or yes, most of the the, the government, the U.S. government, is not who killed those Panamanian college students. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, is this a false flag? <laughs> well, I didn't mean to blow the conspiracy theory open here and now, but I'm already in it. It yeah. was yogurt; they drowned what? in it, and that's how we honor them. That's so. what the Van Halen song Panama is about. Yes, 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> and also inspired the hats. It did. But the hats are made in Ecuador. <laughs> facts for days about Central and South America if you guys want to hear them. I would love to hear them gum shoes. <laughs> the hats are made in Quito. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that killed the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like facts to those that bring everybody down. You, you know, Chief, if you don't actually love to hear it, you don't have to say that. <laughs> I love facts about the island of Panama because one of Carmen San Diego's cronies lived there. He's a tailor. They made a movie about him. <laughs> The Taylor of Panama. <laughs> that swizzling schwiddle do. I think they made two movies. Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy also. Was that one? I didn't see that one. <laughs> you didn't see that John one? John Lennon, have you seen that one? It was tough to, f to follow. So many characters. <laughs> yeah. And it's like everyone was they're speaking English, but it felt like a different language. All right. That buzzle wit bingle dat. <laughs> what did he call me? I don't like that. <laughs> I take offense. No, to not that. you. The Taylor of Panama. Oh, who God. helped that young bitch Carmen San Diego? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, whoa. 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 Shots fired. Love Jerome. Whoa. Shots fired. Oops, I meant bingle diddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we all know what you mean when you say bingle diddy. Yeah, that's then. coded. It's yeah, coded. That's code. That's you dog whistle go for backwards. bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, well, look, I, got, got I feel it. like it's the yogurt It's called the bitch man. whistle. Can't put that toothpaste back in the tube. No, dome. I feel like the yogurt man when he said, damn, about his <laughs> secret weight problems. <laughs> <laughs> I got all my dangling skin. <laughs> It dangle, dangle, dingle, dangle all around my waistband. You know, if if uh, you have to leave sex yogurt, I think you should go into jingle compositions. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Regina, if, if only she were here, boy, she could help you out uh, with that. Oh, yeah, I sense a hot collab on the chains. <laughs> yeah. Cook, 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 collab. <laughs> a hot collab similar to ludicrous and misguided. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> I've never heard you stammer. <laughs> That was the Rewix, not with Mystical, with Miss Kicks Kicks. The bad guy from Superman. Superman. Yeah. He says his name backwards and he goes back to his own dimension. Exactly. <laughs> well, guys. The beautiful uh, island of the dimension. <laughs> Guys, we we uh, uh, I hate to move on uh, from you guys. Did you do you feel like you got closure uh, with everything here? Yeah, I feel like we're on the same page. Um, I, I, feel I think all of us are. We all know exactly what everyone's talking about at any given moment. <laughs> I'm ready to go back to North Carolina and just soak up the culture, mm -hmm. quoting beautiful girls and Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. Yep. Okay. Stick around though for a minute. We still have more show. Huh? <laughs> Stay. That's what I'm trying to say. Stay. Yeah, I think we can stay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please do. Uh, we do need to get to our next guest. And we, gosh, we haven't seen uh, 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 most of them uh, since uh, the the uh, holiday show of 2016, where they were uh, engaged in a fierce competition, a, a fierce battle to try to win a car. Mm. Uh, and uh, I wanted an update, so I invited them back here. Uh, yeah. Please well, welcome. an update is what you're going to get. Oh, I'm, good. Uh, Norm Hamer, Carlsbad, <laughs> Nissan. Uh, hi, everybody. It's so great to watch you guys. You're very quick, and you're all great. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody's uh, having fun. It's our it, it's our actual eighth anniversary mm -hmm. of the of our 2010 2009 yeah. Nissan Sentra giveaway. Yeah. Uh, My gosh, how coincidental. Which, yeah, it's coincidental, Scott. I just. It, <laughs> Yeah, it actually it, it, it is lines coincidental. Up that way. It's coincidental. Um, so we're real excited to come here, and we are going to really crack the code on giving away this car today. <laughs> we're going to do it right in front of you. Okay, guys. so this is Norm Hamer, and you Norm you, Hamer. You run uh, what's your the business? Carlsbad Nissan. Carlsbad Nissan. Carlsbad Nissan. Yeah, I own, no, he doesn't use his name. I, Keith. <laughs> Keith my uh, bad. Keith, come on. Wait, uh, hold on until the contest happens. And then, of we'll course, the contestants we have, uh, we have Keith Jones. Yes, Mrs. that's Keith right. Jones. Hi, Keith Jones. <laughs> and we have Ming. Yes, I'm also here. <laughs> Hi, Ming. It's great to see you again. Hello. It's nice to see you, Scott. However, this contest has ruined my life. <laughs> yeah, well, I, it's been going on eight years. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like I'm in too deep. I cannot bail out. But <laughs> it has led me to a terrible patch in my life where... It's not sadness. It's more the lack of emotion is depression. Okay, so you're just flatlining on. I feel on. like I yeah. would... Uh, no sad, highs, no lows. Sadness just. would feel 
like joy at this point. Right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's interesting is you've been engaged in this contest and still appeared on this show several times <laughs> around it. Life goes on. <laughs> okay, hey. Yeah, we're real We're real excited. A lot of people have said this contest has gone on too long. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that it has ruined some lives. How did it start? It was you you holding your hands upon the car, like a hands-on hard well, body? Well, it was a hands-on a hard body, but it was not hands-on a car. It was a hands-on his cousin who has a hard body. <laughs> and to be fair, uh, that was 2012. And 2010, we started with a drawing. A drawing. Um, where we drew the car. It was a drawing contest. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, where they each had a year long seconds. drawing contest. Yes. Yeah. Wait, 15 seconds? No, though? they had 15 <laughs> seconds to take We had a look. year to look. Yeah, we had 15 seconds to look at the car. We ran around the car, look at it, they get had an to idea. Run. And then a full year to draw. Full and year to draw. They had a full year and to draw. And we could get help. We it, could get help. No. You could get help with people <laughs> with pictures of we could We could get help with drawing it. What about yeah. professional illustrators? Yes, anything we could get our hands on. I did a police t- style <laughs> sketch and I was able to consult with the Hollywood Wilcox division. Oh, did you say uh, Cox? Wilcox? Wilcox. Yeah, division, Wilcox. Uh, sketch artist. I'm listening. He's a, <laughs> she's, a, she's a young Latina detective that is very has a very agile hand. Wait, when you said young Latina chief, you suddenly got very interested. What did you say? <laughs> About a young Latina, perhaps? In I, a red fedora and long red trench coat? Gumshoe. Wasn't she just like a brunette white woman? Who? <laughs> Carmen San Diego? You yeah. put a name like Carmen San Diego. She was a white woman. Yeah. I, I know she was a white woman. <laughs> because as I said before, if she were Latino, her name would be Carmen San Diego. Ooh. Well, well I am a, I am a white woman. <laughs> Oh, Keith yeah. Jones. <laughs> you are? Keith Jones. Keith Jones. Sorry. I am a woman, yes. I Oh, did, is that established? <laughs> yeah, that was year? established <laughs> right. last time I was here. Right. Uh, I remember that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Uh, she has not done anything to help <laughs> to in any way to make herself in, appear to be well, a I, woman. Uh, she's a very procrastinating trans person. I, real, I, I realized I was trans at the beginning of this contest and I've been in the contest the entire time. So you haven't time. had any time I haven't to had actually, any time okay. to, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what, what is the contest now? Because uh, when we well, last conte- saw you... We've looked back at some of the contests and we decided what went wrong. <laughs> okay. And, and something did and, always and, seem to go wrong. Yeah, and we keep making similar mistakes. Because you, yeah. it, you've been tied for eight years. We've been tied... Well, they both come in together in the first place. Right. You <laughs> said that's, that's tying. Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, but point being is today's contest. There's no question. There will be a winner. We figured out a way. Mm. To so do this it. this is a one day contest. It's today. It's today only. This is going to take place in front of your eyes and in front Whoa. of everyone's ears today. Okay. On okay. this podcast, and the car is still in great condition, right? In fact, even better condition. Oh, good. How well, it's been will. repainted after it burnt to the ground. <laughs> Wait, I see. Yes, I saw in the parking lot. It's a different color now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll this remember the last time it was a metallic maroon. Uh, of course, we remember that. Right. <laughs> Everybody remembers that. Um, but what happened is we decided we, we did have a fire. Um, the car did burn down. Okay. Um, and when we repented it, we went with a Re- repented. We repented. It. We the car repented was a it? center. The car was a yeah. center. It had to repent. Yeah. And now it's clean, and it is a matte bright yellow. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All it right, it's beautiful. So this is a 2008, nine, 2009. 2009. <laughs> what, nine. Type, what type of car? Sorry, uh, Nissan Sentra. Nissan Sentra. Sorry, he's got his fist. Sorry, it's a Sentra from Nissan. I apologize. I apologize. It came from Japan. It's a Sentra Nissan. Yeah, it's got uh, seventy thousand Japanese miles, forty thousand nautical, nautical miles, miles, and seven American seven. miles. No, that's twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Sorry, twelve. 12 I forgot. <laughs> Uh, right, right, right. The right. beautiful yeah. peninsula of Japan. <laughs> Wait. So, so, what, so what is this? What is this contest? What are uh, we going to okay, see? Okay. So here? very simply, very um, simple. <laughs> hopefully, a final tiebreaker. I hope. Yeah, absolutely okay. a final tiebreaker. Great. Uh, yeah, uh, in kind of going along with this, uh, really. Uh, cool thing that's happening on Facebook right now with the lists of concerts um, it, where it's uh, 10 concerts but one is a lie that you've gone to and yeah. I love that. We uh, love that. It is one of the funniest things. It's, it's so funny. Well, it's and hilarious. I'm, I'm so interested in everyone's. Right. Wait, I don't know this. <laughs> Can you explain? I don't know these. Oh, you don't know? No. So you, on you your status in. you write in just... I think they explained it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you write 10 concerts. I don't know concerts. what new information could be added to 
to this. I well, don't understand. You, you did write, I go to one? No, you write ten concerts oh that you've that, and 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 nine you've gone to and one is a lie. And one of them never existed, or you didn't go. <laughs> so wait, it's yeah, a it's, lie. Does every part of it have to be a lie? Like, exactly. Yeah, thank like, you. Because like if you say uh, you know I saw the 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 the, the Silver Beetles in Narnia, I'd right. be like that was the, that lie. Was the yeah. lie. Yeah, yeah. I think it's meant to trick you more. Okay, so I let, think it's well, just by the way, like the Silver this. Beetles. Is that a, a band that you wanted to start, John? I wanted to, but was we, it a spinoff? <laughs> right, we were, we, 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 gonna, we, we all had gray hair. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Asked and answered, <laughs> all by so, Scott. <laughs> what we're gonna have each contestant do is they're gonna very quickly tell eight detailed adventures. <laughs> That they would take with this Nissan Sentra. Now, they'll be quick and they'll be detailed and they'll be a minimum of five minutes each. Uh, they'll each tell their I, age. I don't we'll think we have for... 80 minutes to more on the show. It, I mean, I know we've been going for what seems like twice that, but... Uh, well, these will be quick. No, you said five minutes a piece. Wait, well, detailed, they'll be a minimum of five minutes, but they'll be detailed. <laughs> We have had a year to prepare these Each stories. Each one will tell eight. I've been thinking for so many, for 364 days in five-minute increments. So Yeah, I, I don't think we get, can. Well, can we, you, do, we did think, what if Scott wants uh -huh. something shorter? Oh, good. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So we do have a backup plan. It okay, doesn't seem like yeah. you thought that at all. <laughs> what's, no. what's your backup? Does uh, anyone think that before the, they come on this show? No, what this if is Scott the most, wants something shorter? This is the most polite thing I've ever heard <laughs> on this, this show. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> These will be very quick one-sentence adventures. Okay. Eight. One will be a lie. Um, okay. And if I'm able to pick the, the lie out, that person will go home with a 2009. <laughs> wait, wait, so yeah, if, one, wait, if, wait, if, if you can pick yeah. it out? If, if, if the I, lie is obvious enough, we go home with it. Now, why are we doing this on the air when you guys could have just nailed this down at another time? We just wanted witnesses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We want yeah. Official. Also, I'm, I'm a notary public. I have a question. They are all hypothetical, so none of them have had she, she, correct. she beat us to that punchline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She beat us uh, to that reveal. It's all oh. click around here. You that know, uh, always happens at minute seven <laughs> of explaining what's happening. <laughs> what shit? <laughs> Forgive her. <laughs> so, but no, you. There is still the premise of he has to, to decide which one you do which not. Which one yeah. seems it's believable? Still it's still good. Still good. We have, so, we have I mean, do we just here. go back to hands on a hard body or eating boiled eggs? <laughs> Yeah, let's get out the eggs, guys. <laughs> no, no. Or, no, I'm okay, getting we're going to get out the eggs. Oh, we did this in 2011. This is gonna no, fine. Go These ahead. are the same eggs. Yeah. Ooh, go ahead with your story. Please, go right. ahead with your story. Okay, put the eggs away. Okay. Uh, Roll again. And, and so we say start with nine Keith. stories is one, one is Keith. a lie? No, eight. Eight stories. Eight stories is one is a lie. We've had so many meetings about okay. this. <laughs> we have been meeting about this at coffee shops for a week. Well, you've also been in the middle of this contest. <laughs> Oh yeah, since we... 2009, yes. <laughs> we've been doing the contest, and it's overtaken my life. I Did we my dog that is obese. Yeah, because I just leave out food, a ton of food, and because I don't come home for you a hope week, it'll yeah. last for. But yeah. he eats it all yeah. too much, so he's yeah. very large. He's I've been, too well, big. Well, then he should so, be so thin, though. After all, yeah, he should be starving the other days. <laughs> no, no, because I oh. leave so much, you can't possibly eat it all. Oh, I see. You so leave it. Never yeah. stop eating. Oh, I got it. He's so big; it's it's very sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about your dog. All right, let's and go. Okay, I oh, am going it. to drive to the Grand Canyon in my <laughs> Nissan Sentra. Okay, I. <laughs> I will park my Nissan Sentra at the mall. Two. I will go to the dentist in my Nissan Sentra. Okay. I will go home to see my mother in my Sentra. Wait, what are we on? Okay. Uh, I, I, I will go up a hill in the Sentra. And that's eight. I will go back down the hill in a Sentra. I will visit my dentist again because my teeth are rotting in the Sentra. Okay. I will go. That's enough. How many? I will go to Narnia in my silver Sentra. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I have yours. You have that? Do you? We wrote them down. No, I wrote them all down. My teeth uh, are rotting because you smell that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's Two not teeth blew out of your mouth when you did that. Jesus! All right, and man, and that like flew into your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I need to get out of your mouth? Yeah, don't don't man pull. I'm so sorry. Okay. I thought that was an opening. Excuse me, coming out of your mouth. Wow. So sorry. So sorry. 
Yucky. <laughs> hey, did you have an egg sandwich? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was that wasn't that, that sounds that, like the lie. Right that there. Was, yeah. <laughs> I'm not lying about that. <laughs> All right, Ming. Do and you, Ming, go. You have yours. I will drive the <laughs> Sintra onto the deck of the Queen Mary <laughs> and scour the perimeter before this uh, Queen Mary sinks, which it is uh, unfortunately going down. That's so. a long sentence. <laughs> You're going to have to shorten these. <laughs> It is only one sentence, so technically I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, but just, just for me. I don't mean okay. for the contest, but for me. Well, how do you rule, Hema? I will um, visit my adopted child that I had to give back. Because of this contest, it take over my life in a negative yeah, way. No, we all know. We know, we know. Mo moving on. I will first drive to the county <laughs> records office to find where this uh, previously adopted child has ended up in order to visit this child who I adopted and then gave back because this contest has ruined my life. Yeah. Okay? I would take the my dog to the veterinarian <laughs> and uh, put him on a diet. But first, I will... Consult his physician. <laughs> I can't because, believe we're still on number four. <laughs> um, I will visit. Uh, you know I said we, they don't have to be five minutes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not know. I did not hear oh, that. Oh, you part. didn't hear that. Oh, no, you I, thought oh, that okay. was five minutes. No, short. Oh, yeah. okay, shorter. Okay, sure, yeah. Aye, shorter. Okay, I will visit the place where the Renaissance Pleasure Fair used to be. <laughs> After he broke it down, right, to kind of feel out, like, the vibe once that's uh, left town, you know, uh, I will, uh, I will um, get on the freeway and find the end of it. <laughs> Regina Crimp did that earlier. Excuse me? Regina Crimp did that on okay. PCH. Anyway, go oh, ahead. Really? You could just drive to a map to find that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I did not mean to interrupt. I feel like I'm slowing things down. I think we've How many? Uh, 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 How many? Si uh, that was eight. That was seven? That was I, eight. I, I counted I'm six. I'm pretty sure that was eight. <laughs> Let's call it eight. Okay. It was eight. Okay, that's there great. Go. So I have my eight, and now I'll just You wrote quickly, a lot down. <laughs> I have a lot of notes, and I'm just going to take a couple seconds to run this through my mental algorithm. And You're thinking about it. That's, you're not doing an algorithm. You're just Hold thinking on, just about it. just a second, Scott. <laughs> All you're doing is He's thinking about it. He's writing on a board. I would I like thinking. <laughs> One more real quick. Okay. I will go to where they make bumper stickers and get one. <laughs> okay, great. Well, that changes Thank you, things man. up for me. <laughs> okay. I got to rerun this. Hold on. Okay, so the lie from Keith, I'm going to say, is the second trip to the dentist's <laughs> office. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's think, good for me. I think you won it. Yeah, <laughs> I would never go to the dentist again. And <laughs> your teeth the are lying, though. Uh, the lie from Ming is the, uh, the trip to the end of the highway, but then change to just going to get a map. I will never tell you what is a lie. <laughs> because if I admit, then I will be a fool and you will not make me a fool. Wait a minute, Ming. I will never. <laughs> Ming, this I, means you're going to lose. Ming, you're going to lose. Will, I will win <laughs> no. and I will never admit anything. This is not, no, it doesn't mean he loses because I did not put that in the contest rules that he could not do that. So wait, now we this. don't know who wins? I have a faulted contest once again and we're going to call it a tie. Oh, guys. fuck. Think, fuck you. No. <laughs> fuck off. Oh. Hey, guys, don't my worry. My dog. Think about my dog. Think about no. his dog. Guys, I wish I could. Ming, just for forfeit. Just forfeit. I will never give up. <laughs> okay. Ever. I'm in too deep. <laughs> okay. All right. It would be like admitting that nothing in my life is real. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. you know, I, I guess we'll see you next year then. Yeah. Just very quickly, uh, so everyone's aware, um, I have to read this for legal reasons. This Wait, you're going to read this legal thing after he's <laughs> over? I know. I should have Quickly done read it. Uh, that's the least of our problems. This quickly, is not less a than five this minutes. This is an arrangement to this... purchase a car in Wait, the case what? of a time. <laughs> Wait, the contest what? producer will continue to use the vehicle for the <laughs> remainder of the year and until the next contest. Thank you. That's it. 
Oh, this this, this is, is a scam. This yeah. is obviously a scam. This isn't even a contest. It's an agreement to purchase this bad vehicle that you've been driving? Uh, no, that's not what it was. If you'd listen closely, you, you would went that. to a long way to save a vehicle that burned to the ground <laughs> and then got repainted. <laughs> well, look, guys, good good luck. I mean, I guess Thank we'll you. see you next year. Thanks, uh, and happy if, 8th. Happy 8th. Happy of 8th. course, yeah. Well, you and know, happy 8th to us. Of, of course, yeah. <laughs> mutual happy 8th. Mutual happies. Uh, we do have uh, a one last guest here on the show, and it's always nice to see him. He's uh, been here for uh, a couple of years now. We met him a couple of years ago. Yeah, I'd say so. He's, uh, of course, uh, introduced us to the concept of rubbish burglars. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon feast Americans, yes. Raccoons rubbish as well, yeah. Burglars. Rubbish burglars, yeah. Right. He is, uh, he's an actor from Australia. That's right. Uh, movie star, some would say. Some would. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe TV? I yeah, can't TV, remember. Yeah, TV, mainly TV. Yeah, okay, you but know. you dabbled Did- my tone to the right. movie game in Australia. Uh, please welcome back our shrift. Hello. All right, yes, all right. What a round of applause I got in this room. All, <laughs> all right, right yeah. yeah. <laughs> obviously, a big hit in the room, assuming <laughs> similar in the podcast universe. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we have John Lennon, Gino Lombardo, Chief, Bone Queef, Ming, uh, Norm Hamer, Hamer. Hamer. Norm Hamer, Hamer. Norm Keith Hamer. Jones, Ms. Keith Jones, Ms. Keith Jones. And, of course, Rutro, uh, Rauro, Riley, Rauro. Rauro. Riley, Burt Riley, Cake Boss, Cake Boss, and Dagmar the Small. All right. Lots of straight men in the room, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lots of grounded characters to play with, all right? <laughs> R. Shrift, what's been up with you, Australia? Oh, challenging North Korea. Uh, you're yeah. challenging North Korea? Yeah. <laughs> you, island. You personally? Oh, another I- uh, chief. The island of North Korea. Yeah. That's right. It's an island into itself, right? Even yeah. though it's landlocked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't bring that up. He <laughs> hasn't been here. Yeah. No idea what's going on. But it's normal for me, living in my own universe, creating my own reality. So you're ch- you personally are challenging North Korea? Yeah, I'm going to take down this Kim Jong-un. Uh-huh. I'm going to take him down. You know, Trump was sending over the aircraft carrier to me. To approve it, <laughs> give it my blessing, then we are going to go back and take that little pudge boy down. How are you going to do this with uh, some sort of physical... Sheer will. S- sheer will. Yeah. So a contest of will. Sense of self. An extra large ego. You know, if you need contest <laughs> ideas, Norm over here has a million great ideas. Oh, yeah, I'm in the market for a Nissan Sentra. <laughs> oh, you are. Really? Oh, no, not a third contestant. We've never please. taken it to have a third contestant, but. Uh, do not, this would not, do not, do not. Do, you may not, and you should not, and do not. And cannot. And will not. I won't allow it. May not? <laughs> I I'm doing a new show in, in Australia called Fat Dog. <laughs> oh, this is when, talk about self-esteem booster. My dog could use this. It, it, would, it would be a self-esteem booster to be called a fat dog? Wait, wait, not Just to, to be on television? To be on, you you know, can understand the concept of it? He doesn't I'll host matter. that motherfucker if you need. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm only to produce. You know? <laughs> right. It doesn't matter how dire your situation. If you're on television, then it's fine. Yes, What's you're, up? Y'all, welcome to Fat Dog. I'm your host, Bone Queef. Bone likes to pick with you, motherfucker, and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect intro to the show right there. Don't even need to hire a rider with the... Gino, you got that, right? As a dro- We can use that as a drop? We could use that as a drop whenever we want. Okay, uh, great. Oh, okay, good. Hold on. Let me just click save as and type in. All right. <laughs> okay, you hold don't on. need to narrate. What are you saving it as? What are you saving the file as? Bonequeef intro dot A-I-F-F. <laughs> oh, gosh. But what if people don't understand off. what the word bonequeef means? Explain okay, it to them. Bone as in a ribeye, a bone in ribeye, more expensive because the bone uh, adds flavor. But what about and queef? as in pussy fart <laughs> and then dot A-I-F-F parentheses. Fat dog. Close parentheses. <laughs> you do that. In we the got AIFS. a different format in Australia. You need to save it as PAX. <laughs> Pal. Dot P A X. <laughs> it's going to be on PAX Australia. Our shrift. Have you ever met Kim Jong? Is it Un or it's Un? Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have you Have you ever met him before? Of course I have. We went on a human hunting expedition together. You were hunting humans, or you were humans who were hunting? We're both one and the one and the same, my friend. So both were true. It was a real chess match. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> were you hunting each other or other uh, humans? Uh, yes. And, and uh, who else was there? Richard Branson was there. Oh, of course. Uh, uh, Kathy Lee Gifford was there. <laughs> All the richest people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> and that's what she got the inspiration to write her children's book. <laughs> who did you end? Did you end up killing a human being? Yes, we did. Who, who was it? Patrick Swayze. <laughs> oh, is that how he died? That's how he died. It was your cancer? What's that? It was your cancer? No, no, well, that's all we, that's all we said. That's the cover story. But yeah. now you're saying that you murdered him. <laughs> yeah, we killed him good. If you look closely at those cancer wounds, they're bullet holes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, his cancer That's wounds did mistake. look suspicious. Yeah, the family said they weren't allowed to take a closer look at the cancer wounds. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. This, that was part of the contest. This note that I found in the air duct that said, if you're reading this, I'm already dead, just pee. And we thought, Paul Shear, maybe it was pee. Patrick, Patrick Swayze? Swayze. P.S. P.S. Oh, my God. I, and I thought it was postscript. But they died. <laughs> yeah, if it was just P.S. and then nothing was underneath it, then... <laughs> Did you did you hunt him through these air ducts? Yeah, that's where we started. We started right here. <laughs> you the came down the end of Hollywood and then made our way across yeah. the. Oak. <laughs> so this is like the Amazing Race, but you're murdering Patrick Swayze. That's right. That's right. And I was paired up, and at the time, oh, you were a, paired up in teams. It was a teams. competition. Yeah, it was Michelle Kwan was my pal. <laughs> I hosted this show too. It yeah. was great. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you were the you were the yeah. fill of yeah yeah. yeah. I'm gonna steal this was a punchline for Aziz Ansari, but it was amazing race. Everybody needed to be of a different race. <laughs> oh, interesting. So uh, Michelle Kwan. We know which race won though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. But Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee Gifford. She's of the female race. <laughs> oh, okay. <She's... laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And uh, I don't understand what's so hard to understand about this. Nothing at all. No, we're all on board. And he he started the contest. He's behind it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have anybody from Panama though? Yeah, that's right. We had a, we had a, a Janixa. Janixa. Brett Gelman's wife. <laughs> Brett Gelman's wife, Janixa. <laughs> Originally from Panama. Really? She's from Panama. She's from Panama. <laughs> Family's from Panama. <laughs> And then we, yeah, and then, and then we, uh, we, and then we dug up the bones of uh, bones. Yeah, that's right, bone queef. That's right, my man, my goddamn host, the host of my goddamn show. I'm fat a woman, dog. just FYI. That's right. <laughs> What's that? She's a, she's I'm a, a woman. woman. I, I, I am so, too. Yeah, so I am too. Woman. You're from the female race. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Raise your hand. Not... Raise your hand if you're a woman. I was just going also to say maybe me. we should. Do... Maybe we should all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, Wait, Ming's four. a guy. You will never say this again. If you do, I will destroy you. Yeah. Hey, wait, will... Do you ever give up? I never give up. <laughs> I will go to my grave determined, and I will never ever admit I am a fucking man. The yeah. beautiful island <laughs> of your grave. <laughs> Ming, Ming is very aggressive, by the I way. Feel like, oh, yeah. I, I feel tell. like you're trying to clown me, and I don't yeah. want to be clown. <laughs> Ming okay. hates being clown. Not clown. That's me. a big, big button. You don't want to push. I'm not, I'm not trying a, to crown you. I'm not a <laughs> crown. Is fine. You're the king of Ming. You're the king of Ming. Thank king you. Ming. Thank you. Unless you are kidding, and then I'm not your fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a buster. <laughs> I'm not a scrub. I'm show you who here is my fool. <laughs> that sounds like uh, a song. All right, cake be boss. Cake okay, yeah. cake. Yes. Animal. Yes. Uh, uh, Rauro. I'm, I'm down the clown, by the way. <laughs> wow. Put a little bit. Take a little of that baking powder. Put it on your face. Look right. Like, look. Yeah. <laughs> Raro, you wanted to say something? You were raising your hand. I was volunteering to be his fool. He said, oh. who is my fool? I said, me. I see. I thought you were also raising your hand to be a woman. Yeah. Scott, yeah. I, I, Scott, I'm just checking back in to let everyone know I'm still a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bert. <laughs> If I could check in just it for a minute, uh, yes, you know, John. no one's touched these muffins, and I, I sort of, it's offensive to me. I, I, well, I we're all like, talking into microphones. It's hard to eat while we're, you know. Not we everyone's talking in every single second of every moment. I'm of this so podcast. sorry. I, I, wanted I, I, feel... a, I wanted a muffin, but the only one that I am not allergic to is the lemon poppy seed. But because of my size, the poppies will give me a high. <laughs> Like, it just has for you, isn't it? Right. You yeah. know what would make all these muffins easier to eat? Oh, if here we, we go. Spread no. a bunch of sex yogurt all oh, over it. Uh, yeah. All the way, it's trying to push his sex yogurt. He brought the whole carton of it if you want. Yeah, let's see the sex yogurt. Oh, what, what? God, get out the Didn't cart. we land on that was a lube? <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's a lube. Yeah, if you work it hard enough, it's pretty thick. <laughs> that doesn't stop people from eating it, though. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's got two functions. Can I, can I check out this second? Here, let me yeah, get here a you carton go. of this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to make that noise when you give me the tin. all over the room. Everyone can have one. This is sort of white and milky. Yeah, and then here's one that's kind of like a gogurt. Like you can just squeeze it; it shoots out of this tube. <laughs> yeah. What noise does it make? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's 
A lot like Chucky Spliff. Where do I get the sex fact well, on think. the Gogurt kind? Uh, on the Gogurt kind, you got to squeeze it all out. Uh huh. And then okay, let let me do it. <laughs> Oh, disgusting. Uh huh. And then you got to look inside the tiny hole. Oh. The bottom of it is transparent like Carmen San Diego's titties. When she moves to the side, that's right. Uh-huh. This gogurt is also a flat circle. I... Arshrift, are you keeping up with all this? I understand absolutely everything. Arshrift, did you bring uh, an intervention letter for John Lennon? Yeah, of that's right. I did. The guy's got a problem. I still haven't heard yeah, what the problem is. Yeah, we, we we love love hear it. We're all agreed on what yeah. the problem is. Bit. Right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be the. I'm not gonna play. You know, I'm not gonna play into this cab game, right? Right, I exactly. So I'm nobody's fool, right? I like Ming. Yes, and yes. I will never eat a muffin. It is a cake for a poor man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ming. Ming, you're very defensive today. Let, Arshrif, let's hear your letter. Cake. John Lennon. Yes. When you do the things that you do. Specifically. <laughs> That's your exact, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I, there's any number of things. One. Well, there's the one thing that we all had a problem yeah. with. Yeah, of course. The main, the main thing, of course. It has to be different. Right, yeah, no, of course, obviously. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not going to be anybody's fool on this one. <laughs> right, but when never. John Lennon sings music, it makes me feel less than. <laughs> Well, I apologize for that. I've been <laughs> apologizing to everyone. But try to stay on topic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, st- <laughs> let's I, let's I, get it back to the just subject today. Keep, keep reading the rest of your letter. Right. <laughs> I think that was more like your diary about the world making you feel feelings. Can you yeah. find your letter to John Lennon? Sure, of course, right here, <laughs> written in my own blood on a birch tree. <laughs> oh my god, oh, that, that's <laughs> keeps. I guess that's better than shit in uh, a refreshing some underpants <laughs> or of creative sand. And black, right. black tar cum on some cargo shorts. <laughs> that was me. Okay. <laughs> we had dropped the black cum thing. It's really upsetting. All right, R. <laughs> well, I, I, I genuinely don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, for an Australian TV star to admit. All right, you, you didn't get my message about writing a letter about how he needs to go back to Yoko? I don't read emails. Oh, no. <laughs> I won't read it. Shows weakness. <laughs> but you do have an email account. Of course I do. It's like a pile. Arshrift at ymail.com. Is that Dicks. W-H-Y mail? Y mail, yeah, why? Why Why, why would I read this email? I won't do it. <laughs> at, uh, yeah, at, at, at uh, yeah, yeah, dot com. <laughs> big, big slash a you, uh, but I, yeah, of course I think you should go back to Yoko. I mean, she's been shrieking her head off for years. <laughs> she's been shrieking about her beret that she can't get back from yeah, me. Yeah. I'm never going to see her again. You stole a beret. Oh, she lent it to me, and I think it looks great, Harvey. <laughs> Would, yeah, I don't have it on now, of course. <laughs> it's I keep it at home in sort of a locked uh, box. <laughs> Sort of locked box. The latch is down, but I don't lock it. Is it like a Tim Drake uh, in the Batcave thing where it's like floating in a... Well, that would be, you know, the perfect way of, of describing it. <laughs> right, yeah. Scott, do you have any other frame of reference besides comic book? Nope. That's it. <laughs> well, our, I, yeah, of course he, sh- he should go back to Go Yoko. back to Yoko, you know. Did, did you, like you I said, I'll consider it. Com- complete you, in the Amazing <laughs> Race. Were you ever married? I was married three times. One time to a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> and then twice to a bowl of polenta. <laughs> the same bowl? The same bowl. Same bowl divorced. Was the Couldn't cro- stay away. We got back cro- together. Was the, the crocodile was- in between the bowl of polenta? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was a rebound marriage. Mm-hmm. The bowl was first and third? Yeah, first and third. Uh, a classic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bowl of polenta yeah. style. <laughs> that's great uh, positioning in a baseball game. Oh, yeah. Hey, see? I know sports and comics. <laughs> <laughs> the regular old renaissance Big man. strong. Men scenarios. So, That's what I'm into. So, Mr. Shrift, you are uh, you are single now, is what That's you're That's right. Saying. The Paul Palenta cheated on me with a bunch of raspberries. Oh, so Wait. you are, in fact, the biggest cook in the room. That's right. Did Shit, you sh- I might need to jump your bones and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. <laughs> what about this guy, though? I, I will let you have. I'm such a cuck. I'll let you have the title of biggest cuck in the room. <laughs> oh man, that makes you the biggest Maybe. cuck. What? No. No, you have oh. to defend it. I like want the, to be the cuck. Uh, is, is anyone pitch this as a show? The biggest cuck. <laughs> I think you just did. And I yeah, think I'm doing in Australia. You should list eight scenarios where you get cucked. <laughs> All right, each um, one a minimum of five minutes. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to be faster because Scott is really, you know, digging holes. We do need to, re- yeah, we need I to wrap up. I say take your time. <laughs> Ming? 
<laughs> you're 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 clowning me now, Ming. I think I can get eight out pretty fast. Okay. A guy fucks my wife in front of me. A woman fucks my wife in front of me. A barely legal eighteen year old guy fucks my wife in front of me. A forty five year old guy fucks my wife in front of me. A forty five year old woman fucks my wife in front of me. A guy uh, gets to third base in front of my wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in front of your wife. You. With, with, with you. With onto it. On <laughs> that one is the Does line. He, he self third bases right onto it. And, yeah. and are you watching the yeah, scenario? Yeah. He gets his third base all over my wife, and I just watch. Uh, I think I'm at six. Um, the band third base? Is that what you're <laughs> yeah, talking Yeah, the, then the band third base. Uh, I don't know. I, how Home runs guys? all over Home. your wife. <laughs> MC Pete and Ice. That's seven. Um, and then... Uh, I Take your time. <laughs> Let Ming's... What about Ming's big fat dog? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ming's dog loses a ton of weight on my wife. <laughs> wow, you did it. Right in front of me. I think that wow, was- you did it. And one of, the, one, of those is, one of those is a lie. And guess which one it was? Uh, I think it no, was actually that there was one missing that you watch Mr. Cal have sex with your wife. <laughs> Hard to let that guy not do it. He, <laughs> that guy's so young and successful. He's a sex symbol. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Mr. Cal the rapper? <laughs> yep. <laughs> See, you're, you're all caught up. Can name of- <laughs> and that's every reference the, we ever did. Yeah, that's the, Gulf that's War, rever- the Gulf War veteran and convicted rapist? <laughs> R- rapist. <laughs> Rapist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott yeah. is a rap apologist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pilot. Well, guys, on that, uh, we, we only have one last feature on the show, of course, and that is a little something called plugs. Uh... Here's your chance for you to say the future of the past. Where you've been playing a day. It's coming up at last. It's time for plugs. Very nice. That was Here's Your Chance by A Shiny Object. I think A Shiny Object has been on the show before. Uh, that's a great plugs theme. All right, let's plug it up. Let's go around the horn. John Lennon, starting with you. Let's go clockwise. Oh, yeah, well, I'm trying to get that Indiegogo started, I guess, now for the linen company. So if you have any leads on that... <laughs> That would be great. Uh, check my uh, sh- podcast out, Questions for Lennon. That's it. Behind the paywall, of course. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gino? Uh, as always, I'm just here to plug some of my favorite Long Island comedians like <laughs> Eddie Murphy, Jerry Seinfeld, and John Gabris. Uh, he's got a podcast called High and Mighty, and uh, he also has something behind the paywall called The Layman where he talks to scientists and you gotta hear a Long Island guy who knows nothing about science talking to scientists. Oh man, I can't wait for that. Oh, sick, bro. All right, our shrift. What do you got? Obviously, if you're in Australia, check out Fat Dog. <laughs> on Pax. The nah, biggest check cock. out the biggest cock. Ah, <laughs> uh, those are my two big ones right now. I'm most excited about. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, Chief, what do you got? And then oh, I, have an, I have a show called Behind the Paywall. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Is that free f- to listen to? It's Yeah, it's free to listen to in North Korea. It's over the paywall in oh, the North okay. Korea, and it's me and Kim Jong-un just shooting the shit. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to hear that. Chief, what do you got? Gamshu, I will be producing a new show called Where in the World is the Biggest Cock? But before <laughs> I do that, you can catch... Chief, his best friend, Carl Tart, uh, every second Friday night at the UCB Sunset, and uh, White Women presents your token friend. Okay. Uh, Bone Queef, what do you got? And Bo- wait, your name is Bone Queef? Yeah, it's Bone Queef. <laughs> Bone like uh, sticks and stones may break my motherfucker, but Queef is like a pussy. For- <laughs> right, got it. And what was your last name again? Oh, St. Gynecologist. It's St. like a slobbery dog, Bernard, and Queef like a pussy doctor. No. Like I've heard this. <laughs> Oh. oh, I was so close. So oh, close. I see the pattern now. <laughs> <laughs> Good, gynecologist. You get it. What are you plugging? Ooh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna also plug Fat Dog because I'm hosting that motherfucker. So go check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's. Oh, you can come to White Women too. All right, <laughs> yeah. great. Ming, what do you got? Well, because Fat Dog has already got so many plugs, <laughs> I would probably just like to tell you about a nightmare that I had recently. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. I was let into the backstage at Disneyland, right? Okay. And this is a dream because you always wonder, what is back there? And 
mean, when I walk in, it's terrible. It's uh, all these old white men in business suits, and they were eating the uh, the cartoon characters like cannibals right. on a bed of bloody cash. Wow. <laughs> and uh, then I wake up. Okay, thanks, Ming. Well, I'm only really looking forward to checking that out. <laughs> Norm, what do you got? Uh, I just want to let people know if you're in Carlsbad or the Carlsbad area to stop by Norm Hamer <laughs> Nissan, and, uh, and we're looking for contest ideas for next year. To do, you sell any other cars, or do you just have one car? It de- in the long run, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, uh, we're focused on this contest right now. Okay, uh, tweet your ideas to at Norm Hammer. Hammer, I thought. No, I said at Norm He's Hammer. Changed, yeah. <laughs> At Norm Hammer, at <laughs> Nissan Sentra, car maintenance and car sales at Norm Hammer's Nissan Sentra. Okay, got it. Keith, what do you have? Uh, well, obviously, um, uh, last time I was here, I donated $15 million to the victims of 9-11. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I buried fifteen million dollars at Ground Zero, so there. Uh, d- never forget because that. Because he did it to the victim, not to their family, <laughs> not the victims' families, uh, but to the victims. So. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, good, good. So, th- uh, so don't yes, dig that so up. So don't dig that up. Okay, Rauro, what do you have? Uh, Rauro here. Uh, I just want you to know if you want to learn more about Martyr's Day. Um, or I, think, other... I think we know everything we need to know. Okay, well, if you want more other hot facts about Central and South America, you can follow a comedian I like. She's my neighbor. Her name is Tony Newsom, and uh, she always uses our washing machine, you know. So. <laughs> Got it. All right, Bert? Uh, I want to plug my favorite show, The Good Wife, which turns, uh, <laughs> which is on CBS and turns the cuck model upside down. <laughs> She gets cheated on for once. Uh, and then I'll Spoiler also, alert. I'll also, yeah. I'll also uh, plug uh, a spinoff of The Good Wife, uh, Shrink on CISO. Over to you, Kick Boss. Um, I just want to plug uh, the concept of cake. I feel like people aren't eating enough cake because... Uh, it's gone out of fashion. Everyone's gone, it's gone out of fashion, as you say. Everyone's mm-hmm. very body conscious. And mm-hmm. uh, I want to uh, treat yourself. You should enjoy cake uh, every day at every meal. <laughs> oh, no. Not Eat. muffins, though. They are poor. poor I poor didn't want right. to bring that up. Thank you That's so right. I never... If you eat a muffin, you're dead to me. <laughs> you're dead Stop to me. Stop putting your middle finger in my face. Yeah. If you eat a muffin, <laughs> Stop pointing your middle finger right now. Break, break it up, break it up, Thank guys. God break it up. Glasses. Go back to Yoko Odo. All right. Don't Dagmar? <laughs> Um, I just want to plug, I really wanted to plug a um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'm just saying. No spoilers, please. When well, you say plug, do you mean tell us the entire plot? Yes, that is how a plug for a movie works. So, a I young am, boy, I'm he is very poor. Yeah, uh, earmuffs, I, I know that part. Oh, oh that's <laughs> I right. Saw the that's the scene. one scene I saw he saw. Scene. Uh, we, don't, we don't have time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm s- just cut to the end. Uh, and then the boy gets the Chocolate Factory. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Great. What happens between? I'll never know. Uh, I want to plug, hey, if you're at Bonnaroo, come on out to Bonnaroo. Adam, Scott, and I are going to do a live you talking you two to me out there. And uh, also I'll be on the Brooklyn Nine-Nine season finale. All right. Uh, this is very special. Before we close up the old plug bag, uh, Michael Hardigan, our friend who scores the uh, Olympic Song Challenges, he sent us this remix of the Closing Up the Plug Bag theme. Let's hear it. Let's close up the old plug bag. Talk about bags and bags. I'm talking about bags. All right, guys. Well, this has been really fun. Uh, I want to thank everyone here. Of course, Dagmar, Cake Boss, uh, Burt Riley, Ro- uh, Ro- Riley, Rauder. Keith Keith Jones, Keith Jones, Miss Keith and Jones. Uh, Norm Hamer, of course. <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bone Queef. Bone like hard white shit in your body and queef like pussy fart. Okay, and Chief. Gum <laughs> shoe. Got it. And our shrift. Oh, shrift. Yeah. Right, of course. Ah. And uh, Gino, of course. Baby. And John Lennon. <clears throat> Drums. Drums, of course. And a big thanks to you listeners for uh, sticking with us for eight years. Uh, it's been my pleasure to host this show over the the time period, which I just described. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Are you referring to the five hours we've been in here? <laughs> I know. Uh, but thank you so much for listening. It means the world to me. And uh, may I do it for at least one more. Um, all right. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.
Hey everyone, thanks for listening. And remember, there's a reason you got into business. It wasn't to worry about how to track your applicants or to figure out email marketing. So don't let those things dominate your time. There's software out there that can handle all the day-to-day busy work for you. You just need to find it. That's why I'm telling people about Captera.com. Captera helps you find the software solution for your business needs. It's an easy-to-use website with over 400 categories of software to choose from. Whether you need help with website building, customer service, or project management, Captera is the place to go. They have thousands of ratings and reviews from actual software users just like you. And here's the best part. Using Captera is absolutely free. There's no obligation. You don't need to register. It's a free resource that will help you make the right software decision. Join the millions of people who use Captera every month. Visit captera.com slash bangbang and find the software that will help you do what you do better. That's Captera, C-A-P-T-E-R-R-A, dot com slash bang bang to start your search today. Captera dot com slash bang bang. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.